Chapter 3721 Once more seeing the Kanpeng, that single pair of wings covered the entire sky, tearing through the void and forcibly creating a spatial channel. Countless figures then came flying out of it. All of them were as large as mountains. But in front of that pair of wings, they appeared completely minuscule. Roars, howls, bird cries, and other animal sounds rang out. When they appeared, menacing air filled the world. It's the demonic beast race. Startled cries rang out. Those giant figures were ancient beasts. There were giant dragons, flying phoenixes, divine tortoises, and wild wolves. At the rear, there was a sea of beasts. The experts here were unable to even differentiate what they were. It was like the heavens had been pierced, and a sea of beasts came flooding out, instantly filling the sky. All of them possessed shocking blood kiss. The endless demonic beasts fell to the ground, transforming into human form once they landed. Their gazes then arrogantly swept across the others present. Clearly, they were causing such a ruckus on purpose. They came in their true forms to shake others. The Kanpeng Aura. This is a true Kanpeng. Long Chen was ignoring those demonic beasts and was completely focused on the giant pair of wings. His heart was pounding hard. Correct. This is a true Kanpeng, one who transformed from the Kun to the Peng through cultivation. It has countless divine abilities and the power of laws. Moreover, it has gained a trace of primal chaos blood, so its power is definitely terrifying. Zayek Yuhong eyed those wings with a hint of solemnity, Navalun, calm from the mortal world to the immortal world. Long Chen had encountered quite a few experts of the Peng race. On the martial heaven continent, he had slain the Peng emperor's son, and in the heavenly rainbow domain, he had slain Kun Wu from the Kun Peng race. However, Long Chen had never seen a true Kunpeng. The so-called true Kunpeng was the Kun that cultivated into the Peng, a mighty expert who had achieved the Tao. On the other hand, all the experts of the Peng race that Long Chen had encountered were those that rely on the inherited bloodline of their ancestors. That was how they had their achievements. However, this Kunpeng was different. When it was born, it was just the most ordinary kun. Although its body was large and it was fierce, allowing it to be called the overlord of the water, in the end its flesh was perceived as undying meat by countless beasts. It was said that a bite of the kun's flesh was equivalent to a thousand years of cultivation and could increase their longevity. Thus, before a kun became a peng, it was eyed by countless wild beasts as prey. On the other hand, the Kun also needed to rely on devouring those beasts to improve itself. It could be said that the process for the Kun to become a Peng was a bloody slaughter. Wild beasts wanted to eat the Kun, and the Kun wanted to devour the wild beasts as well. Through slaughter and devouring, over 99% of the Kuns ended up killed. Even if a Kun did manage to survive that bloody slaughter, when it finally became a peng, it had to undergo the peng tribulation. This tribulation was similar to the dragon race's dragonization tribulation, a tribulation for members of the dragon race that reached maturity. As for the peng tribulation, it was a death tribulation preventing the fish from leaping over the nine heavens. The kun was nothing more than a fish that had to live in water. Hence, they could not leave the water until they died. That was the edict of the heavenly Taoists. For the Kun to become a Peng was a process of defying the heavens, defying fate. As the heavenly Taoists did not permit such a thing, they would unleash a terrifying heavenly punishment to prevent this heaven-defying conduct. For the Kun to grow to its peak, there was a 99% chance of death. Then once it reached the limit and underwent the Peng tribulation, there was another 99% chance that it would die to the heavenly tribulation. Thus, a true Kunpeng might not appear once in millions of years, and the majority of the Kunpeng race was descendants of the true Kunpengs. 
even though a Kunpeng was born through succeeding in defying the heavens, even though they could soar above the nine heavens, they were limited by the heavenly dows. With every generation, a bit of their bloodline would be lost. The more time that passed, the thinner their bloodline would be. As a result, more and more of their inherited divine abilities would be lost. To put it frankly, every generation would be worse than the last. Just like other races, there were occasional cases of regressing to an ancestral bloodline. However, the strongest existences of the Kunpeng races were never born that way. They had to go from the weakest existence and grow up step by step. They became experts by experiencing a thousand tribulations without dying. Because of that, a true Kunpeng was exceedingly rare. Even for an expert like Xia Gu Hong, this was his first time seeing a true Kunpeng. The reason Long Chen could instantly recognize it as a true Kunpeng was because as soon as its aura appeared, Long Chen could sense its will. The Kunpeng's will was just like the will of the true dragon. It refused to submit to the restrictions of the heavenly Daos. It fought against the heavenly Daos, seeking freedom, so it contained a domineeringness and arrogance that would kill anything in its way, whether it was a man or a god. When the countless figures in the spatial channel fell, those huge wings suddenly swept out. As a result, that giant spatial channel was cut apart by those blade-like wings. Heaven and earth were split in two. But suddenly, the void exploded and an even larger channel appeared. People then saw an unimaginably big figure fly out of this channel. It was so big that it was like an entire cosmos, so big that people could not even see its full figure. It appeared for just a moment before divine light exploded, and it transformed into a muscular, middle-aged man with golden wings on his back. Behind this middle-aged man stood a young man, and he also had a pair of golden wings on his back. A rune flickered in his eyes, shining with a primordial desolate kai. When people saw that young man behind the middle-aged man, countless heavenly geniuses were shaken. This young man was also a kunpeng, no, a true kunpeng. A tough opponent has appeared. Zaya Guan eyed that young man. Long Chen nodded. This person is very powerful. The reputation of the kunpeng race is not for naught not relying on your ancestors' bloodline, but instead putting in great efforts to go from a weakling to a true expert. It is impressive. Long Chen felt immense pressure from this young man. This was definitely the greatest pressure he had sensed from anyone in the same realm ever since he set foot in the immortal world. Just as Long Chen was staring at him, those two Kampeng experts who were looking around ultimately had their gazes land on Long Chen in the distant restaurant. Ah ha excellent! Who would have thought that you would encounter the heir of the true dragon's will? Kun Tu, it was a good idea to come here. The divine venerate looked at Long Chen and smiled with satisfaction. As for the young man called Kun Tu, he said, he has the true dragon's will, but his essence blood is impure. It isn't the ancestral dragon's blood, so its power is limited. However, don't expect me to have mercy just because you're weak. The dragon race is our mortal enemies. I will definitely kill you. Long Chen's expression twitched. This Kun Tu's vision was extremely sharp. He instantly saw that Long Chen's essence blood was not pure dragon blood. As for the ancestral dragon that he mentioned, was he referring to that mysterious dragon expert? When Long Chan obtained his current true dragon essence blood, that mysterious dragon expert did say that it was the essence blood of his descendant. Kun Tu actually recognized it. Furthermore, Long Chen had even split a portion of this dragon essence blood to Xia Chen and Gua Ran, causing its purity to drop even further. At the same time as he was shocked, Long Chen was also angered. He was a top expert and had his own confidence. For this Kun Tu to arrogantly name him as a target, he was angered. 
he didn't know if it was due to the dragon blood in his body or the will of the pill sovereign being provoked but he couldn't help standing don't get impetuous once you enter the three thousand worlds and obtain my reverse scale crush him for me suddenly a voice that long chen hadn't heard in a long time rang out in his mind long chen almost jumped chapter three thousand seven hundred twenty two dragon king reverse scale senior long chen was startled and delighted that voice belonged to the mysterious dragon race expert this mysterious expert was someone who long chen was extremely grateful for due to its grace everyone on the martial heaven continent was saved so long chen owed it an immense debt in the water the khan is a tyrannical fish in the heavens the peng is an arrogant burr they can release their arrogance in front of other races but whether they go into the heavens or into the earth in front of my dragon race they can only be suppressed ignore him for now once you enter the three thousand worlds i will direct you to my dragon king scale at that time i will not permit any techniques just with your dragon blood power crush him to death for me show the kunpeng race who is the real king of defying the heavens snorted the dragon expert the dragon race and the kunpeng race were mortal enemies the khan was born in the water and devoured serpents and pythons while the serpents and pythons also devoured the Khan. The Khan then transformed into the Pang, and the python transformed into the dragon. Both soared through the heavens and remained enemies, devouring and killing each other. Whether it was the Kunpang or the dragon, they were both innately arrogant to the core, unwilling to live beneath the heavenly Tao's. They constantly tried to break free, becoming gods above the nine heavens that weren't restricted by the laws of heaven and earth those that could be considered true kunpengs all went from ordinary kuns and relied on their own efforts to continuously break free of their shackles continuously challenging the heavenly Tao's. they rose step by step they were experts that slaughtered their way out of a bloody sea the dragon race was the same the strongest dragons went from the serpents to the pythons, the pythons to the drakes, and the drakes to the dragons. Through millions of tribulations, through surviving life and death punishments, they walked beyond the peak of the heavens. As for the ancestral dragon, it was an existence that relied on its own power to achieve spiritual enlightenment and create its own Tao. Through constantly breaking free of limits, the ancestral dragon created its own divine abilities and magical arts. To use the human race's words, it could be considered a founder. That was the ancestral dragon. All right. Senior, don't worry, I'll definitely beat him. I'll show the Kunpeng race who the real master is. Long Chen agreed excitedly. Aha, master. I like that. Back in the day... The Kunpeng race bowed their heads to my dragon race. Now that the dragon race has declined, they want to erase history, but how could that be so easy? The dragon expert laughed. Long Chen's words satisfied it. For your own safety, I cannot talk with you for long. Be careful. Once you enter the three thousand worlds, I'll direct you to my dragon king reverse scale, said the dragon expert after saying that its presence vanished it was as if it had never appeared it also felt like some memory of long chen's was erased its words were like a dream when it came to the dragon expert long chen knew almost nothing about it but he never worried about its intentions and he had the utmost confidence in it also this new information made long chen's blood heat up he was filled with anticipation. After he had merged with the true dragon essence blood, it greatly improved his physical body. But he still felt that it wasn't as strong as it should be. It had to be known that the dragon king's realm was equivalent to the human race's immortal king realm. Based on that, after merging with the dragon king essence blood, even if he couldn't immediately dominate the immortal king realm, he should have difficulty finding any match for him. 
However, after his battle with all devil Tianai, he found that in front of a supreme bone's power, his dragon blood's power didn't seem to have much of an advantage. Long Chen always felt it to be a bit off. Based on his estimation, a true dragon was not so weak. Now that the dragon expert had once more messaged him, he realized the truth. Back then, the dragon expert had told him that he needed to obtain that dragon's scale from the Nine Prefecture Convention, saying that it was of utmost importance to him. Now he understood that it was important as preparation for its Dragon King reverse scale. In other words, without that dragon scale from the Nine Prefecture Convention, he would be unable to absorb this Dragon King reverse scale. The mysterious dragon expert had shown utmost benevolence to Long Chen. In other words, without that preparation, if he were to directly absorb its Dragon King reverse scale, he would probably instantly die. Even with his powerful physical body that was the result of cultivating the Nine Star Hegemon body art, even after he became an immortal king, he would still be unable to absorb the Dragon King reverse scale without this preparation. Hence, Long Chen almost didn't dare to imagine just how terrifying it would be. Long Chen was full of excitement and anticipation. He had a premonition that once he left the Three Thousand Worlds, he would no longer be the old Long Chen. When he thought of that, in front of that arrogant gaze from above, Long Chen no longer felt much anger. He slowly sat back down. Everyone had been staring at him. When he stood up, they thought that he was going to fight Kun Tu. But seeing him sit back down, they were stunned. Countless people sneered at him, thinking that he was a coward. As for Kun Tu, he stared at Long Chen apathetically. This action of Long Chen's didn't seem to cause any reaction from him. It was as if Long Chen not daring to fight him was well within his expectations. The demonic beast race had come, and just like the devil race, they occupied their own empty land, taking it as their territory. All the races had their own powerful experts standing guard over their territory, and they simply stayed away from each other. Although they were hostile, they didn't want any fights for now. After all, those powerful experts had come only to protect the youngsters. They wouldn't make a move for nothing. Moreover, once they battled, this world would be destroyed along with the entrance to the Three Thousand Worlds. That would then be a disaster. More and more races began to arrive. Clearly, Long Chen had come early. During the next few days, experts that had received the news of this began rushing over, so more and more people gathered. The gigantic Violet Flame Heaven capital was now starting to feel crowded. The Netherworld's experts also came, passing through the Netherworld's gate with just as many members as the Devil Race. Many strange beasts from the Netherworld were unable to transform into human form and could only keep their real appearance. The Netherworld's experts were also led by a terrifying expert. It was an elder with only one eye. In fact, half of the elder's head was gone. His aura was extremely odd, and people were unable to see through him. However, his mount was a netherworld dragon whose cultivation base had reached the divine venerate realm. To have a divine venerate mount was shocking, so this fellow's status was probably terrifying. When these netherworld experts arrived, their gazes roved around until they saw Long Chen. After that, all their expressions changed, and killing intent exploded out of them. He is Long Chen, that brother of Wu Tian's. The one-eyed elder stared at Long Chen with killing intent burning in his one eye. His expression was sinister. As soon as they arrived, Long Chen felt something off. They all seemed to be from the underworld race of the netherworld. As for Wu Tian, he was from the nether race, and both sides had immense enmity between them. When Long Chen was in the netherworld, Wu Tian was leading his army against the underworld race's forces and cleaning his territory of traitors. Hence, as Wu Tian's brother, Long Chen was very likely famous among the underworld race. They looked like they wanted to eat him alive. Seeing their gazes, Long Chen instantly realized 
that what he had been worrying about had come. As for the other experts, they stared in shock at Long Chen. They had no idea what kind of ability Long Chen had to make such a terrifying expert release such killing intent. I understand. Your head was destroyed by Big Brother Wu Qian, was it? Long Chen suddenly cried out with understanding. But as soon as Long Chen said this, millions and millions of netherworld experts took out their weapons. When their killing intent exploded, all the life forms within the violet flame heaven capital were stunned. Chapter 3723 Put Away Your Weapons. A battle was on the verge of erupting. The netherworld's army was glaring at Long Chen. It seemed that as long as the one eyed elder gave the word, they would immediately charge forward and tear Long Chen apart. There were millions and millions of experts with dozens of divine venerates, tens of thousands of half step divine venerates, and even hundreds of supreme heavenly geniuses. The rest were also elites amongst the netherworld's experts. However, all of them were now staring at a single person. That alone was enough to make people's hearts quake. But Long Chen still had an indifferent expression. He coldly said, Do you want to kill me? Even if all your Divine Lord disciples attacked, they wouldn't be able to do anything to me. Your only option is to use Divine Venerates. But if Divine Venerates attack, so will my big brother. A battle of Divine Venerates will destroy the laws of heaven and earth. After that, the entrance to the three thousand worlds will be destroyed, and no one will be able to enter. If you dare to attack, I guarantee that your netherworld will become everyone's target. Thus, I'll bet my arm that you won't even dare to touch me. Put away your weapons. Don't act like you're going to do anything. I am Big Brother Wu Tian's brother, so the enmity between your underworld and nether races will affect me, but that's fine. In the three thousand worlds, come and try to kill me as you please. The moment Long Chen became brothers with Wu Qian, it was set that he would be standing on Wu Qian's side. Thus, he would also have to endure the hatred of the underworld race, but he was indifferent to it. A cold, sinister light flashed in the one-eyed elder's eye. He truly did want to attack Long Chen and send his head to Wu Qian. The half of his head that was gone was precisely destroyed by Wu Tian's spear, and it would never recover. That was his life's greatest humiliation. He wasn't a match for Wu Tian. But seeing Long Chen, he immediately thought of a way to get his revenge. However, just like Long Chen said, there was no way for divine venerates to fight here. Disciples could be mobilized, but in a one against one, they might not be a match for Long Chen. If they all went up at once, Long Chen could simply run. The world was so big, so how were they supposed to find him? Just like Long Chen said, they could only wait until the three thousand worlds opened. Whether it was the human race, the devil race, or the demonic beast race, they all stared at Long Chen in bewilderment. They were unable to figure out how Long Chen's name had spread so far. Who was Wu Qian? Furthermore, outside of the netherworld, only a few people knew of the enmity between the underworld and nether races. But seeing these experts of the netherworld looking at Long Chen like he was their mortal enemy, their estimation of Long Chen's fame instantly rose to an unprecedented level. At the same time as they were shocked, countless heavenly geniuses felt a burning competitiveness, wanting to decide just who was stronger between them and Long Chen. It had to be known that fame was not differentiated by good or bad. Even if you were an incomparably vile person, as long as you were famous, that was also a kind of glory. Don't worry. I will definitely take Long Chen's head in the three thousand worlds, said one of the netherworld's supreme heavenly geniuses. Just you? Don't blame me for not warning you, but if you want to cause trouble, you should bring a few more people. At least that way you'll have company on the path to the Yellow Springs, responded Long Chen, in the face of provocation. 
In any case, there would be no fight, so he naturally wouldn't let them stoke their own ego. Big words. If you have guts, let's have a one-on-one -on -one fight right now. We'll decide life and death, challenged the supreme expert. Long Chen was moved by this. This person was no longer a person in Long Chen's eyes. No, he was simply a living supreme heavenly Tao fruit. Every one that Long Chen killed was another supreme expert in the Dragon Blood Legion. When the Dragon Blood Legion once more gathered, if it was entirely composed of supreme geniuses, just how domineering would that be? However, there were too many experts here. Although Long Chen was confident, he still didn't dare to be careless. Quite a few people gave him a strong sense of danger, so to expose his trump cards in front of all of them was definitely not worth it. Long Chen, you wouldn't really just be an empty name, right? You sat down in front of Kan Tu's challenge, and now you're going to hide like a tortoise in front of the netherworld's people's challenge, sneered someone amongst the human race. This person's words were quite malicious. It was an attempt to force Long Chen out. As a result, he had just spoken when a flash of divine light appeared. That supreme expert was then struck by a talisman and hacked up blood, a crack appearing on his forehead. His body almost exploded. Seeing this scene, everyone around him jumped in shock and hastily fled for fear of being affected. The person struck by the talisman quivered. His body then transformed into a ray of light that shot away without a trace. The talisman had appeared silently, striking him just as he mocked Long Chen. He couldn't even sense it before it struck him, but when it did, he almost died. He had barely escaped and fled to heal his wounds. A frog at the bottom of a well cannot speak of the ocean. The summer insects cannot speak of the ice of winter. Do you think that you are qualified to speak about my boss? How laughable. Come, you've all seen the effect of my silent thunder talisman. Everyone refused to believe its power before, so now do you believe it? Zaya Chen waved a handful of talismans at everyone. Zaya Chen and Gu Ran's business had been interrupted by the arrival of the devil race, demonic beasts, and underworld experts. Originally, Xia Chen had found that this business was doing too well, and he wasn't able to keep up. As a result, he started to inscribe stronger talismans that he could sell for greater profit. But others did not know just how effective these talismans of his were. Hence, they were unwilling to pay that immense price. It just so happened that the person mocking Long Chen wasn't too far from him. Without hesitation, Xia Chen used him as an example. Luckily, that person's spiritual perception was too trash to even sense the talisman before it activated. It almost killed him. This was the best proof of Xia Chen's talisman's effect. Seeing that a single talisman was able to severely injure a supreme expert, everyone wanted to buy it. A hundred thousand? Was it eighty thousand just before? cried out the buyers. The past is the past. The present is the present. Even a supreme expert almost lost his life due to this talisman. Don't you think you should pay a bit extra after getting to see that? Chortled Gu Aran. Even if there's a ticket price for that show, it should be paid to that person, not you, raged someone. That person was our prop. This is the best. A hundred thousand immortal king crystals for the ability to almost kill a supreme genius. That's an excellent price. Do you not see how hard it is for our inscriber to make such talismans? Asked Gua Ran. A prop? People refused to believe it. To have a supreme heavenly genius use his life as a demonstration was definitely nonsense. How hard is it? He's just waving his hand across some paper, and the talisman is done. Ow, is that hard? Even more experts shouted furiously. Holding his brush, Xia Chen would simply leave a few scribbles on a sheet of paper, 
finishing it in a few blinks of an eye. It appeared incredibly easy. A hundred thousand immortal king crystals. Why don't you just go rob people? Robbing people isn't as efficient. This is the price. Buy it if you want. If you don't want to, please leave so that others can buy it, announced Guo Ran shamelessly. Those people continued to grumble, but they still paid up. Furthermore, they all bought multiple talismans, sometimes dozens. As a result, the money flowed in easily. This speed was truly no different than directly robbing people. This fuss from Xia Chen's side distracted people, and the netherworld's experts stopped glaring at Long Chen. They then occupied their own territory and fell silent. Look, there are so many beautiful women. Huo Ran was in the midst of collecting more money when a disturbance in the distance caused him to jump up. Chapter 3724 Butterfly Spirit Reappears in the Distance A group of graceful women in multicolored robes appeared. All of them looked like fairies that had walked out of a painting. They appeared to have transcended the mundane world. They were just like elves from the mountain, possessing an immense spiritual air around them. Their gazes were like clear water, without any of the dust of the mortal world infecting them. It was such a pure air that others couldn't bear to touch and infect it. This group of women instantly drew countless gazes. Even the fierce devil race, demonic beast race, and nether race looked at them with gentler gazes. The butterfly spirit race has also come. Following the arrival of the butterfly spirit race, the solitary members of the spirit race that were scattered around drew close to them as if they had found their family. The spirit race possessed a natural spiritual air around them, and they didn't like fighting or slaughter. The spirit race was a generic term for the races that were close to the heavenly Taoists. There were thousands of kinds of spirit races, and they were all essentially kind races that wouldn't hurt others maliciously. But amongst the spirit race were some terrifying existences. They would not get provoked easily, but once they were, they would erupt and were not afraid of a bloodbath. The butterfly spirit race was a renowned kind race. Even if they were harmed, they would rarely seek revenge. They would simply do their best to distance themselves from those that had harmed them. Thus, when the butterfly spirit race arrived, the other experts of the spirit race went over. One reason was to stay in a group, but another reason was to protect them. The gathering of the spirit race's experts caused countless people's eyes to brighten. These people were all handsome men and pretty women. They didn't just look beautiful. It was that pure spiritual air around them that intoxicated them. Just looking at them, people felt like their minds were being cleansed. When they appeared, Long Chen smiled. This smile was very warm, as he truly did like the spirit race. He liked their kindness and how pure they were. Long Chen had always felt safe and happy with them. Long Chen had protected them many times. He was willing to face any danger for them. Now, he realized that he wasn't actually protecting the spirit race, but just protecting the symbol of kindness. He was protecting a holy place for the sake of his own sanity. They were an important part of this world that was lacking in many places. The butterfly spirit race caused quite a ruckus when they appeared, but not everyone was as pure as them. Some wicked people immediately had some sinister thoughts when they looked at them. There were thousands of members of the butterfly spirit race here, and they were all women. Their leader was a beautiful middle-aged woman. She was a divine venerate, and her aura was very gentle. It didn't give anyone a suffocating feeling. Instead, people felt particularly close to her. This woman immediately began to greet the other members of the spirit race that came. She had a sweet smile that made her appear particularly amiable. Seeing her, more and more experts of the spirit race quickly gathered. Their numbers reached the hundreds of thousands. People spotted tree demons, stone giants, fairy spirits, and all kinds of spirit beasts. 
They had all kinds of races together, but they were very harmonious. None of them seemed the slightest bit on guard against each other. The spirit race wasn't connected by bloodline or souls. They simply used their auras to recognize each other. As their auras were calm and peaceful, that was how they recognized fellow members of the spirit race. It didn't matter how much stronger or fiercer they were, they could still trust each other. Suddenly, the butterfly spirit race's leader looked over at the restaurant, her gaze pierced through thousands of miles to look directly at Long Chen. A peculiar expression of surprise and delight then appeared in her eyes. As her figure vanished, a rainbow light flashed in Long Chen's eyes. That beautiful woman slowly appeared before Long Chen. After that, she suddenly knelt on one knee and kissed Long Chen's hand. Long Chen jumped, hastily saying, Senior, please don't do this. This was a divine venerate. For her to do such a thing to him, Long Chen felt panicked. He also wanted to get on one knee to return her courtesy, but he suddenly found that he was unable to. At that moment, his knee seemed to stiffen, and he was unable to bend them. Unless he cut off his legs, he would not be able to kneel. Long Chen vaguely felt that this was related to the Pill Sovereign's will. It would not permit him to kneel to anyone, not even an ally. It wasn't just Long Chen who was shocked by her actions. Even Zaid Yuhong was stunned, and Yu Qingxuan covered her mouth, filled with disbelief. That woman slowly rose after kissing Long Chen's hand. She then placed her hand before her chest and carried out an ancient noble etiquette. You are the benefactor of our butterfly spirit race. Please forgive this presumptuous etiquette of mine. The butterfly spirit race's hand-kissing etiquette is not just the highest etiquette to our benefactor, it is also a way of transmitting information. This way, I know what happened to you involving the butterfly spirit race. I hope you don't take offense. Of course, I won't take offense. However, senior, I don't know how to reply to this etiquette of yours. I feel like I'm being rude, said Long Chen awkwardly. In truth, Long Chen truly disliked these overly elaborate etiquettes. He didn't know how to reply to such things. Not matching the other side's etiquette made him look rude and coarse. You're too courteous. Thank you for helping my butterfly spirit race twice. I wonder if you can come join our group? asked the woman. The butterfly spirit race's experts began to wave to him, beckoning him over. It was as if they wanted to go to him, but they were too far, and they couldn't all squeeze into that restaurant. They'd also felt that it would be too rude for them to fly over other people's heads. Hence, they all waved at him with anticipation in their eyes. I... Long Chen hesitated. The woman smiled and said, All three of you can come. Your friends are also the friends of our spirit race. Long Chen, bring King Shuin over. Youngsters should act like youngsters. Only an old man should be so overcautious and hesitant, said Zai Yuong with a smile. Long Chen laughed and held Yu Qingxuan's hand. Not waiting for a response from Yu Qingxuan, that woman already smiled and waved her hand. Divine light then covered them, and they appeared amongst the butterfly spirit race. When Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan reappeared, those young women of the butterfly spirit race began to dance, drawing Yu Qingxuan and Long Chen into it. They were also singing some songs that the people couldn't understand. Their voices were beautiful, almost sounding like the sounds of nature. It was like this world had become a pure land with no fighting or killing. It was as though they didn't need to have any defenses. They could just peacefully listen to the music of the Grand Dao. At first, Yu Qingxuan was a bit embarrassed, but she quickly abandoned her reservations and began to dance with the butterfly spirit race. Seeing Yu Qingxuan smiling widely, Long Chen was satisfied inside. If this world's fighting could come to an end, 
everyone could dance and sing like this every day how good would such a life be your highness suddenly a dislikable voice rang out and completely interrupted the happy atmosphere chapter three thousand seven hundred twenty five dam yunuch long chen and yu kingshuan were holding hands as they learned the dance that the butterfly spirit race was teaching them they were following their rhythm and yu kingshuan was starting to laugh like a little child considering that she had no happy childhood this was her first time feeling such a thing it was relaxing and harmonious most importantly there were so many pure people around her every single one of their souls was like a white sheet of paper so she could put down all her defenses and pretenses that was an incredibly moving feeling however this dreamlike world was shattered by a single shout eunuch why yu kingshuan quickly spotted the ashen eunuch why glaring at her angrily as soon as the rhythm was broken the singing and dancing butterfly spirit women stopped they stared in confusion at the fierce eunuch why some of them were so scared by his appearance that they retreated yu kingshuan hastily pulled her hand out of long chen's hold she had almost forgotten about eunuch why for him to suddenly return now she felt like a child that had just made a mistake she didn't know what to do for her to forget about eunuch why she naturally had also forgotten about her status as the vermilion bird empire's princess together with the butterfly spirit races women she felt like a butterfly flitting from one flower to another basking in the sun now that eunuch why came that dream was shattered and she was pulled back into reality long chen looked at eunuch why seeing his face that was wrinkled up like the crotch of some pants long chen truly had the urge to slap him to death this fellow was truly dislikable your highness you are the princess of the noble vermilion bird empire how can you lack any decorum if you continue to integrate yourselves with people of lowly status how will the vermilion bird empire have any face left if the emperor were to learn of it how could i possibly face him shouted eunuch why sternly like a child that had made a mistake yu kingshuan lowered her head she didn't say a word that appearance was truly distressing long chen couldn't help speaking up for her eunuch why this matter shut your mouth who do you think you are you aren't qualified to talk to me shouted eunuch why just like that the sound of the ming ong saber coming out of its sheath rang out a chilling killing intent then soared and the world changed color an explosive might cause the void to rumble the moment long chen took out his saber everyone could clearly sense his killing intent form ripples that spread in every direction when those ripples reached them it didn't matter what cultivation base they had they all felt their hair stand on end it was like seeing mountains of corpses and seas of blood even divine venerates were unable to remain indifferent to it what terrifying killing intent just how many life forms has he killed his killing intent is starting to affect the heavenly dows exclaimed a divine venerate legend had it that when a person had killed too many life forms even heaven and earth would feel uneasy when the killing intent was released the heavenly dows would be suppressed and not dare to resist however that was a matter for the legends in reality no one had truly seen it that was why everyone was so shocked when they saw long chen's killing intent actually release a ribble of light you damn eunuch i've endured long enough why don't you try repeating what you just said long chen pointed the ming hong saber at eunuch why his fury exploding this damn eunuch was continuously being overbearing toward him treating him as trash he might be able to endure that but he could not stop his fury from exploding when this damn eunuch started chiding yu kingshuan at this moment long chen's explosive killing intent locked onto eunuch why if he dared to be so arrogant again 
Long Chen would slay him right here and now. Yun. Yuna Chui had not expected Long Chen to instantly enter such a terrifying state. His killing intent was locking him down firmly. At this time, he no longer had a chance to enter his combat state. Under this killing intent, any move from him would cause Long Chen's Minghong saber to strike. Although he was a half-step divine venerate, Long Chen had taken the initiative. Hence, Yuna Chui was at an immense disadvantage and didn't dare to move. Long Chen, I was the one who made a mistake. Don't make things hard on Yuna Chui. I'm begging you. Yu Kingshuan saw Long Chen's raging killing intent and knew that he was truly enraged. She really was worried about him killing Yuna Chui. Yu Kingshuan also knew that Yuna Chui had gone too far. Considering Long Chen's status, Yuna Chui's arrogance toward him was inappropriate. Long Chen had endured all this time, but Yuna Chui actually viewed that as Long Chen being easy to bully. Now, he had lost his face. Seeing Yu Kingshuan begging like this, Long Chen took a deep breath and forcibly suppressed the flames of his fury. When it came to Yu Kingshuan, he couldn't possibly not listen to her. Long Chen slowly pulled back the Minghong saber, but the killing intent in the air didn't dissipate for a long time. It could be seen that the flames of fury in Long Chen's heart continued to burn. Once Long Chen put away his saber, Yuna Chui's expression remained exceedingly ugly. To have a junior point a saber at him was definitely the greatest humiliation of his life. Yuna Chui, I'll do my best to take your words into consideration. But hopefully you also don't make things hard on me. You can go now, said Yu Kingshuan frostily. She also disliked Yuna Chui, so her tone wasn't very courteous. After saying that, Yu Kingshuan looked at Long Chen. After giving him an apologetic smile, she bowed toward the butterfly spirit races women who were terrified and left. Long Chen, is that right? If you don't die in the three thousand worlds, then come to my vermilion bird empire. I'll teach you how to be a person, said Yuna Chui darkly. I will definitely be going to the vermilion bird empire. But I won't need you to teach me how to be a person. Instead, I'll be teaching you how to be a ghost, responded Long Chen coldly. If it hadn't been for you, King Shuen, Long Chen really would have killed this damn Yunuch. He was absolutely hateful. Even now, he was threatening him. HMPH, we'll see, youngster. Yunuch Wai snorted and left, following you, King Shuen. Long Chen then returned to Xia Chen's side and he had the Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples leave as well. He didn't want Yuna Chui to see them, and cast his anger on them. After all, they weren't the princess. They would be the main target of Yuna Chui's wrath. Yu Kingshuan was also quite smart, and walked in the opposite direction of Xia Chen, buying them time. The good atmosphere was ruined just like that, so Long Chen apologized, to the middle-aged woman, my apologies for bringing this upon you. Thank you for your kindness. In the future, whether it's in the three thousand worlds or other places, if you need help, just ask. I will rush through fire or water to help you. Thank you, benefactor, said the woman hastily. Long Chen smiled at those young women apologetically. Their dancing had been ruined by Yuna Chui. It was vexin. Long Chen had just returned to Xia Chen's side when rumbling rang out above the Nine Heavens. Long Chen thought that new experts were arriving, but just then, a giant gate appeared in the sky. The three thousand worlds are about to open. Startled cries rang out. Everyone within the violet flame heaven capital shot up. Chapter 3000 726 Dragon Blood Warrior Yu Shan the Heavenly Gate opened and covered the entire Violet Flame Heaven capital. It was absolutely enormous. However, right now it was still in its embryonic form. According to historical records, the Heavenly Gate would require around ten days to fully form. 
Furthermore, opening it also required some time. In other words, there was still some time until the three thousand worlds were accessible. But the heavenly geniuses here were already getting impatient. As soon as this gate appeared, there was a rush of experts. Many powers, that were perhaps too far or didn't have a good information network, were hastily rushing over. As for Long Chen, he returned to the restaurant and drank with Zayed Yuhong, still feeling angry due to Yu Nuch Wai. Yu Qingxuan was definitely hiding in the distance to avoid clashing with him again. The butterfly spirit race treats you well. They blessed you with their luck divine radiance, so you should have some major success in the three thousand worlds, said Zayed Qiuhong to get Long Chen's mind off of it. Luck divine radiance? Long Chen was startled. He hadn't sensed anything like that. However, when he checked his body again, he found a pair of invisible wings on his back. If it hadn't been for Zai Yuhong's reminder, he wouldn't have noticed them. The luck divine radiance is the special secret art of the butterfly spirit race. When placed on a person, even if that person is irredeemably evil, they will still be blessed by the heavenly Tao's, and good fortune will come to them over and over again. However, this technique cannot be randomly used. They have essentially transferred their luck to you. Now, they won't be as lucky once they enter the three thousand worlds, and they might face even greater danger. Do your best to protect them, warned Zayed Yuhong. Only now did Long Chen learn that the kind butterfly spirit race had actually made such a sacrifice for him. He was moved but also felt bad. To apologize for his lack of manners, Long Chen went to Guo Ran and Zaya Chen's stall. He had Zaya Chen stop selling and instead make some life-saving talismans for the butterfly spirit race's people. He also refined some of his best medicinal pills for them. Boas, just as Long Chen's group of three was discussing things, a person charged in and hugged Long Chen. When they saw that person, all three of them were overjoyed. Yu Shan, this person was a squad leader in the first corps of the Dragonblood Legion. He was Gu Yang's capable assistant. Bus I, I finally get to see you again. Yu Shan was moved to tears when he saw Long Chen, Kuo Ran, and Zaya Chen again. Good brother, don't cry. Now that us brothers have reunited, we won't have to part again. Kuo Ran hugged Yu Shan tightly. Long Chen checked Yu Shan's body and found that he wasn't a primal, but his blood kai was shocking. His gaze was sharp and possessed a sense of wildness. Clearly, after ascending to the immortal world, he had experienced countless dangers. Good job. I knew that no useless cowards would appear in my dragon blood legion. Even without being a primal, you can sweep through them. Long Chen patted Yu Shan's shoulder with praise. Perhaps to others, resources were the number one requirement, while talent was number two. That was because even the greatest cook couldn't make anything without ingredients. Without money, talent was worthless. However, talent and resources meant nothing to Long Chen. What he cared the most about was the unyielding spirit in every dragonblood warrior, the will to never lower their head to fate. Yu Shan was a perfect example of this. He had no talent or resources, but just relying on his own will, he could reach this level. Once Long Chen gave him his resources, he would instantly soar. Long Chen had not expected to encounter one of his own here. He had shown himself off and spread his name, but no one else had come to him. Thus, he simply assumed that there were no dragonblood warriors in this area. After asking, Long Chen learned that Yu Shan had no backer in the immortal world. He had sought shelter in a few sects, but due to being squeezed out by the original members, he ended up killing a few people in his anger. So, not only did he not win the favor of those sects, but they even hunted him down. It could be said that this year, Yu Shan had spent the entire time surviving while being hunted. The countless narrow escapes from death had tempered his spiritual perception and murderous aura. 
So, he couldn't be underestimated just because he wasn't a primal. Even amongst world kings, only a few could actually threaten his life. That was enough to show his power. Due to being a rogue cultivator, his information network wasn't as good as others. Furthermore, he was in a remote location and had no good tools to travel quickly. That resulted in him being far slower than others rushing over here. For these brothers to meet once more, they were all delighted. Long Chen immediately gave Yu Shan a heavenly Tao fruit so that he could awaken a primal bloodline. Regretfully, Yu Shan was a water element cultivator, and Long Chen's only supreme heavenly Tao fruit was a fire element one. Considering the contrasting elements, Yu Shan couldn't possibly absorb it. If he tried, he might end up crippling himself. For now, Long Chen could only wait to see if he could find a more suitable supreme heavenly Tao fruit. Yu Shan's arrival told Long Chen that not all dragon blood warriors were doing well. Many people might be arriving late, so Long Chen had Guo Ran bring Yu Shan around with a signboard for the Dragon Blood Legion to see if they could find any more Dragon Blood warriors that were arriving late. Meanwhile, Long Chen and Xia Chen busied themselves with helping the butterfly spirit race. Long Chen was refining various pills, including healing pills, detox pills, and soul nourishing pills. They were all pills that the butterfly spirit race could use. As for Xia Chen, he helped them create the best life-saving talismans. All of these women were too pure to even know just how precious these things were, so they happily received them. Long Chen and Xia Chen then took the time to teach them how and when to use the talismans. At this time, more and more people arrived at the Violet Flame Heaven Capital. These latecomers were mostly from the human race. The other races had mostly arrived. The ones arriving at this time were mostly rogue cultivators or people from small powers with no information on this event. After all, the disciples from the powerful sects had arrived first. Yuo Ran and Yu Shan roved around and really did find more dragon blood warriors. These dragon blood warriors hadn't been doing as well as Long Chen. They were simply muddling along with no powerful backers. In ten days, they found eighteen dragon blood warriors. They were just like Yu Shan. They were rogue cultivators and ended up coming when they heard the news. They mostly came with the weaker sects that could only send mid stage world kings as protectors. When eighteen dragon blood warriors were gathered, they were all incredibly excited. Ever since their mortal world was destroyed, they had always been thinking of reuniting in the immortal world. This feeling could not be described with words. Although it was just eighteen of them, Long Chen and the others were incredibly excited. They knew that in trances to the three thousand worlds spread throughout the various lands. As they had already found so many people in this one spot, the other entrances definitely had even more people. Long Chen asked Xia Guong about it. Xia Guong said that the Violet Flame Heaven alone had at least five entrances. The Violet Flame Heaven capital was just one of them. Amongst these eighteen warriors, it just so happened that one was a flame element cultivator. So Long Chen directly gave him the supreme heavenly Tao fruit. But in order to keep this matter concealed, Long Chen told him not to consume it right now and instead wait until they had entered the three thousand worlds. After these ten days, the heavenly gate finally began to rumble. Everyone instantly tensed up. Chapter 3727 Grand Dao Flower Long Chen, Guo Ran, Xia Chen, and eighteen dragon blood warriors stood together. Xia Guang was also standing by their side. The gate is about to open. Take care. The spatial gate will automatically draw you in, so you won't even need to enter it yourselves. You just have to be wary about other people launching sneak attacks at that time. That is because you will be sucked into a spatial current once you're in. This spatial current cannot be controlled. 
when the time comes you will definitely be separated and end up clashing with experts from other races a chaotic battle is unavoidable warned zayed yuhong long chen nodded that was something to be wary of he wasn't worried about the others but the dragon blood warriors had to be careful the three thousand worlds are different from the minor worlds that you've entered before you are entering a major world with laws that are almost the same as that of our nine heavens and ten lands however the three thousand worlds are usually sealed resulting in it using up very little of its core energy there is primal chaos kai from the very birth of that world inside that is why it is the best place for breaking through to the immortal king realm you're lucky to be born for its opening so cherish it properly furthermore just like the nine heavens and ten lands there is the human race inside as well as the devil race netherworld race blood race demon race spirit race beast race and others there are unending battles inside once you enter don't end up in the territories of other races if you end up there by yourself your only option will be to slaughter your way out implored zayed yuhong my luck is good i'm just worried about boss laughed kyo ran even if my luck isn't good i can kill my way out furthermore i have the blessing of the spirit butterfly race my luck definitely won't be bad just listen to big brother kyuhong don't be careless this time a battle inside the three thousand worlds is unavoidable said long chen other than the spirit race Long Chen had almost no friends amongst the people entering. If he wanted to obtain more goods from the three thousand worlds, he would need to rely on his fists. Other than that, let me warn you that other races are very dangerous in the three thousand worlds, but the most dangerous ones are still those from the same race, warned Zaye Guhong gravely. Long Chen understood this, so he smiled bitterly. The human race truly was ironic. The only ones who liked to kill each other like this was probably the human race. Suddenly, the heavenly gate hanging far above them opened. There was mist on the other side, so no one could see clearly what the situation was. But as it opened, the world on the other side gradually grew clear. Through the gate, people saw an endless world with mountains and plains. After that, they caught a glimpse of seas, lakes, and rivers. They even saw worlds of ice as well as mountains of fire. This world was absolutely enormous. This huge gate that filled the sky was only a tiny mirror allowing them to see the tiniest fraction of it. Suddenly, people sensed a pure aura coming from the other side. All their pores automatically opened and greedily sucked in this aura. This aura poured through their bodies, cleansing their flesh and bones. It was like a person that had been constantly drinking muddy water was suddenly drinking clean water. They felt purified. Everyone was moved. At this moment, countless experts sighed over not being born at the right time for this event. They had passed the Divine Lord realm and were not qualified to enter the three thousand worlds. Hence, they could only get a few breaths of this air. As for the Divine Lords, sensing the aura of the three thousand worlds, they were all incredibly excited. This was the world that they were about to enter. This was the place that would change their fates. Suddenly, the three thousand worlds quivered. At some unknown point, a giant lotus had appeared, and it seemed to cover the entire three thousand worlds. The lotus was simply enormous. Through the gate, they could only see a portion of it. It was slowly revolving, and the grand primal chaos kai came out of it. However, these experts could only sense that primal chaos kai and not absorb it. Countless people's hearts became itchy. The grand Dao flower. The legendary grand Dao flower has appeared, exclaimed an elder. The Grand Dao flower has 3,000 petals, corresponding to the 3,000 major Daos. Look at how many layers of petals it has. It must be it. The gate is too small. 
we can't see the whole picture. It is said that those that can see the full shape of the grand Tao flower can comprehend the secret workings of the universe, the principles of the ten thousand Tao's. Even divine venerates were moved. They couldn't help staring at it, hoping to learn some secret from it. Regretfully, while one petal after another roved past their gaze, let alone the entire grand Tao flower, they couldn't even see a single petal in its entirety. Suddenly, the grand Tao flower's petals emitted light that flew out of the gate and illuminated this world. It enveloped everyone. Following that, one spot after another appeared on the grand Tao flower. When one looked at those spots very closely, they seemed to be names. It's doing a roll call. Long Chen looked and found his own name on the Grand Dao flower. However, while he saw his name, he was unable to see other people's names. When he tried, he only saw spots, and that disappointed him. He was hoping to see Meng Kai, Chu Yao, and the others' names. But he couldn't. After the Grand Dao flower revolved a bit more, he couldn't even see his own name. Countless heavenly geniuses cried out excitedly when they saw their names appear on the grand Tao flower. Every single divine lord present had their name appear on it. The grand Tao flower revolved and Long Chen continued to stare as more names appeared on it. For every name, a ray of divine light would shine on the grand Tao flower. Long Chen saw only ten petals, but that was enough for every divine lord present to have their name branded on it. No further rays of light appeared. Long Chen's heart shook and Zaya Chen also took note of this detail. His voice shook as he asked just how many people are entering the three thousand worlds. They noticed that the other petals were also scribed with countless names. If there really were three thousand petals, then the violet flame heaven capital was only taking up ten petals, which was one in three hundred. According to that, wouldn't there be three hundred entrances with just as many people as there were in the violet flame heaven capital? Everyone who thought about this point was shocked. They finally understood just how big this world was. This is good. We'll definitely see more old friends like this. Our dragon blood legion will slaughter our enemies inside, said Long Chen, smiling slightly. Originally, he was a bit worried about the others when he didn't see them here. He didn't want them to miss this opportunity. However, it seemed that this worry was for naught. Even that troublemaker Mo Nian hadn't appeared here, but he was definitely at another entrance. If there were that many entrances, then there would definitely be countless elites. Long Chen believed that the Dragonblood Legion would once more unite. Suddenly, the Grand Dao flower quivered. Rays of light shot out of it and illuminated the crowd. Every person was struck by the light corresponding to their own name. It's starting. Prepare for battle. Guo Ran immediately summoned his battle armor and entered his combat state. Chapter 3728 Desolate World Suddenly, the Grand Dao flower buzzed, and everyone present was startled to find all the names on it vanish. What's going on? Everyone grew uneasy. What did it mean for their names to vanish? Could they still go in? The Grand Dao flower had originally shone with all the colors of the rainbow, but now it suddenly turned pure white. After that, the white petals slowly began to turn black. They wilted and rotted. It was as if the Grand Dao flower was cursed. What is going on? Startled cries rang out. As the Grand Dao flower withered, black kai swirled out. The rainbow lotus was now a black lotus. Following the appearance of the Black Lotus, a terrifying divine might suddenly erupted from it, shattering the world before them. People then saw an endless battlefield. The earth was already covered in corpses, and countless life forms were slaughtering each other. When the line of sight was pulled back, everyone was shocked to see countless life forms slaughtering the human race. 
the human race was still fighting back, but there were just too many enemies. The most terrifying thing was that even the weakest person here was an immortal king. World kings were everywhere, and the divine venerates were the main force. They then saw experts from the netherworld, the demon world, the devil world, and various beast races, along with some life forms that they had never seen before. They all joined forces to slaughter the human race. However, following that, they saw a surprising group of experts amongst the human race. One punch from them shattered the void, and one slash of their sword cut apart the starry river. These experts were actually capable of easily fighting back against the odds. No one in the same realm was able to match them. Are those nine star heirs? Startled cries rang out. People saw six stars behind one of their backs, and a single punch from him destroyed a mass of world king life forms. Furthermore, that person's cultivation base was only in the immortal king realm. An immortal king challenging a world king across realms was nothing to these geniuses. But for one punch to blast hundreds of world kings apart was absolutely terrifying. These are the nine star heirs said to be the strongest warriors within the nine heavens and ten lands. Aren't they hunted down by the nine underworld hall? Countless people glanced at the nine underworld hall's experts. There are so many of them. As their viewpoint shifted back, they saw countless nine star heirs fighting a bloody battle, slaughtering these life forms. However, the scenes moved too quickly. The battlefield got smaller, and even giant devil beasts appeared as small as ants. Now, all they saw was a sea of blood. As their vision widened, they saw an endless sea of blood with a single little island on it. Their vision then continued to rise higher and higher, and they saw more and more islands within the endless bloody sea. People felt a chill. They could tell that they were seeing something that they shouldn't. Is this the scene from that legendary immemorial battle? Asked one expert with a quivering voice. Probably. Otherwise, the human race wouldn't be so strong. Other than the nine star heirs, even the other humans and other life forms were incredibly powerful. Even within the same realm, their power far exceeded expectations. It was said that human experts were in their strongest state in the immemorial era. Now that they were seeing this, they believed it. Although these were just images, when they fought, space twisted and the heavenly dows were torn apart. That was enough to show that those experts had unimaginable destructive power. Suddenly, ten rays of divine light lit up the world, shattering the sea of blood. With a blinding flash, it felt like they were seeing a giant world through the ten rays of divine light. However, that giant world only appeared for a moment before vanishing. Then the ten rays of divine light also faded. Everything turned black. Within the endless darkness, a giant black lotus slowly closed as if devouring this world. Now, the inside of the gate was pitch black, and strange sounds came from within the darkness. All of a sudden, people heard violent roars, and then space tore apart. Assaulted by the roars, countless experts screamed, blood pouring out of their ears. Everyone was horrified. More and more cracks were appearing in the sky of the violet flame heaven capital, as if heaven and earth were about to explode. It was nothing more than an image from the immemorial era. It is a completely different space-time than ours, so how is its power still reaching us? exclaimed a divine venerate. Just the sound of the roars was enough to tear apart the world. Even divine venerates felt as tiny as ants in front of that power. They could only submit. Looking at the cracks in the air that didn't heal for a long time and hearing the ear-splitting roars that came from time immemorial, every expert was completely stunned. Just what kind of existence's voice could pass through the river of time and still shake the void? However, everything inside the gate was now pitch black, so they could no longer see anything. 
They had no idea what had happened. Long Chen's heart was pounding loudly in his chest. That voice made all the blood in his body boil, and his dragon blood battle armor automatically activated. After that, he clenched his teeth and suddenly shut one eye. Think this through. This kind of karma is absolutely terrifying, warned Zayed Yuhang gravely. I don't care. Karma can be good or bad. Since no one knows the future, I can just close my eyes and do whatever. Long Chen understood Zayed Yuang's good intentions, but he was unwilling to not take a look. Long Chen's left eye instantly turned black and merged with the black world within the gate. He activated the purgatory eyes. When the darkness in the gate vanished, he saw a dusty world. He also saw countless chains that formed a net sealing this entire world. Long Chen looked at this desolate world, one that was practically ruins, riddled with holes. But this world was also covered in a sacred white light. Countless life forms were kneeling on the ground, praying and chanting. When Long Chen heard what they were chanting, his entire body shook. The Nirvana Scripture. Long Chen had not expected this scripture to be the Nirvana Scripture. Although it was a part of the scripture that he hadn't heard before, he was sure that it was the Nirvana Scripture. This ruined world had countless life forms covered in blood. Some of them were on their last breaths, barely hanging on. As they chanted the Nirvana Scripture, the sacred light of this ruined world quivered. The giant net was covering this ruined world as if it was the main target. The net grew and spread even further as if some power was pulling it. Long Chen hastily looked over. Within the darkness, Long Chen saw giant figures pulling on the net, covering up endless starry seas. Stop. Suddenly, Zayed Yuhong's voice erupted in Long Chen's ear. Sharp pain then struck Long Chen's body, and the scene before him instantly vanished. At this moment, his left eye was already bleeding heavily. Chapter 3729 Start Long Chen had been too focused. It was only when Zai Guhong's warning exploded in his ear that he pulled back his vision. When he did, he suddenly felt an immense pain in his eye. He was also shocked to find that countless cracks had covered his eyeball. It was on the verge of exploding. As for the sudden pain, it was so much that even Long Chen couldn't hold back a painful brunt. He hastily held his eye with his hand. A burst of terror filled Long Chen's heart. This was all thanks to Zayed Yuhong's warning. Without it, this eye of his would have been lost. Long Chen had expected to sense some pain while he was looking, but somehow he ended up inflicting himself with such a wound without realizing it. Long Chen quickly stopped the blood and put on the eye patch that Bai Zayol's mother had given him. It's too bad. I didn't get to see the most important part. Long Chen was a bit vexed. He didn't get to see the person wielding that net or what those huge figures were. If you saw that part, it wouldn't be just your eye. You would have lost your life. The karma involved in the secrets of the nine heavens that involve all life is not something that you can endure, said Zayed Yuong. His meaning was that just being capable of seeing a bit was incredible. If Long Chen had seen the real secret, he would have died. Countless experts were staring at Long Chen in shock. They all noticed the abnormalities in him. Did he? Did he just look at the immemorial secrets? He didn't die after that. But it does seem like he paid a terrifying price. I wonder what secret he saw. Who cares? We'll force it out of him when the time comes. After a moment of shock, people started to get greedy. Countless heavenly geniuses eyed Long Chen like prey, wanting to know what he had seen. Long Chen had directly received the karma by looking into those secrets. Once he narrated what he saw, the karma would no longer be as terrible, as long as they could capture him and force him to answer or do a direct soul search, they would know what he had seen. 
whether it was the younger disciples or the elders who had come to protect them they were all filled with curiosity as to what had happened within that black world what kind of existence could unleash a roar that would shatter the laws of their world even from another space-time he he boss it looks like you've become everyone's target said guo ran with a sinister smile when he saw those people's greedy gazes good intentions can't advise a ghost about to die if people want to die it's impossible to stop them what we need to do is send them to another world to repent said long chan while consuming a medicinal pill indifferently just then a ray of light appeared within the three thousand worlds when the darkness receded the holy lotus once more appeared the grand dao flower had returned to its original appearance as the divine light of the grand dao flower illuminated the world once again it thrummed with vitality the corpses and blood were gone it was as if time was a miraculous hand cleansing the world of its scars the passage of time made it as if nothing had ever happened the world was thriving once more it was like everything that they had just seen was nothing more than a nightmare but although the grand dao flower was back that sight still shook countless people those arrogant heavenly geniuses that were barely containing their anticipation for this moment all felt cold their blazing enthusiasm was dampened it seemed that the three thousand worlds were not as beautiful as they had imagined it had to be known that what they had just seen was no nightmare it had really happened it might even have happened inside the three thousand worlds and been recorded by the grand dao flower although they had seen nothing more than a flash of that battlefield it was still incredibly terrifying the experts of that era were incredible any random one of them could wipe them out they finally understood why in that era the human race stood at the peak of the ten thousand races that era of the human race would never be surpassed as the grand dao flower slowly revolved the originally bustling violet flame heaven capital was deathly silent no one said a word it took several breaths for people to gradually recover from their shock our human race actually had such a glorious era someone from the human race couldn't help sighing emotionally he was full of reverence and worship for those predecessors what glory in the end you still became our food you only survived by wagging your tails pitifully sneered a devil expert no matter how glorious your human race's history was don't forget that in the primal chaos era your human race was nothing more than a pack of inferior servants the human race is truly a pack of fools that forget things as soon as they are out of sight there's no point in reasoning with you the most effective thing on you is always the whip and the blade if you don't listen get whipped if you still don't listen then you can simply be killed all the other races mock them that was because in that scene they had seen their own predecessors being killed by the human race despite their overwhelming number advantage they hadn't expected the human race to be that powerful at that time you trash who do you think you are the human race's predecessors were so glorious as their descendants we naturally can continue that glory you ran furiously pointed at those arrogant races continue that glory what a joke your human race has continuously suppressed and killed your own people for countless years there's no need for us to even do anything you'll just kill yourselves even before we came we saw your foolish human race attacking and tearing down each other a race that has zero unity actually wishes to inherit their former glory are you trying to make us laugh to death countless races laughed only the human races experts were enraged yet helpless to do anything about it that was because the human race truly never had any unity that person's words struck them right where it hurt leaving them with no room to retaliate the human race naturally also knew that they should be united but there was no way for them to do so 
the heart of humans was always the most difficult thing to understand in this world it could even be considered more difficult to understand than the heavenly dows in the human race's history countless heroes had appeared but none of them was capable of uniting the human race although these words were hard to hear they were unquestionably fact it might not be possible to make you laugh to death but i feel like we can always try killing you said guo ran furiously he wanted to kill them right here and now the eighteen dragonblood warriors were already holding their weapons as long as guo ran made a move they would directly start a slaughter the dragonblood warriors had endured countless hardships but this had tempered their fearless unyielding wills they were still sharp divine blades and they might even be sharper than before idiots of the human race listen well don't let me see you in the three thousand worlds or i'll kill every one of you that i see roared an arrogant expert of the demonic beast race the other races shouted as well provoking them other than the spirit race almost all the other races were starting to provoke the human race the human race's experts were enraged but also shocked were they asking to repeat the scene that they had just seen was a battle between ten thousand races about to erupt again suddenly the gate quivered and countless specks of light flew out when that light touched people a involuntarily flew toward the gate it's starting ha 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 people cried out excitedly as they flew over one speck of light then landed on you ran and he was also pulled toward the gate ha you little bastard i've long since found you displeasing it just so happened that guo ran crossed paths with that demonic beast that had just mocked the human race guo ran then smashed his fist toward him just like that this arrogant expert was blown apart courting death this one punch instantly ignited the rage in every demonic beast present they directly charged over at him at this moment long chen's body also quivered and a strange pull sucked him toward the gate in that instant long chen's blood started boiling excitedly chapter three thousand seven hundred thirty chaos light pulled the divine lords of the violet flame heaven capital into the gate more and more of them were flying up even this giant channel began to feel packed and some life forms ended up very close to each other Guo Ran had precisely attacked that demonic beast expert because they were right beside each other. That demonic beast had previously challenged the entire human race, so Guo Ran naturally wouldn't let him off. This resulted in countless demonic beasts charging at him. However, there seemed to be an invisible force keeping them in place. They were able to move within a certain range around themselves but past that range they would be blocked and knocked back to their original location seeing this scene guo ran arrogantly laughed i've long since found you animals displeasing to the eye anyone who doesn't like it can come and fight me right now the other races were provoked by this shout one of them was a supreme expert from the netherworld he was the closest and with a sharp blade in his hand he attacked inferior human race you old slaves when did it become your turn to be arrogant when is it not my turn to be arrogant guo ran sneered and in the face of that blade guo ran received it barehanded and punched that expert with his other hand boom a huge explosion erupted guo ran then let out a grunt and fell back a few steps on the other hand his opponent was set flying shocking everyone else they were all limited by the laws of the three thousand worlds right now and didn't have that much space to move how could this netherworld expert escape this limit and fly so far furthermore he wasn't flying in a straight line he was dropping further and further how can this be people's expressions changed they had tested it they were being pulled up by some invisible force and couldn't fight back against it although they could move left and right 
their bodies were constantly being pulled into the gate. They couldn't retreat, as their names were on the Grand Dow Flower. You, inferior human, you, sneak attacked. Another expert from the Netta world caught this person and was shocked to find a bloody hole in his head. There were strange rust marks around the bloody hole. That supreme expert was already dead. Even his human spirit was gone. Inferior? No matter how inferior I am, can I reach your level? You bastards used numbers to attack the human race. Is that not the actions of an inferior species? sneered Gua Ran. Just now, in their clash, Gua Ran's true killing blow wasn't his supreme bone but the arrow concealed in his left arm. The arrow was merged with the rust that Long Chen had given him. This rust came from the ghost ship that Long Chen had climbed, and it contained the power of time. Once it fell on a person's body, their body would instantly rot. Guo Ran and Xia Chen had even made special runes using the power of time of this rust. This arrow was a silent killer. Once it struck someone's head, that person's you and spirit would be instantly annihilated. That was why the other experts present didn't notice Guo Ran's attack. All their attention was focused on his supreme bone. Inferior human race. Die. The Netherworld's experts were enraged after seeing one of their supreme heavenly geniuses dead. They began to attack the human race. At the same time, the demonic beast race, the devil race, the blood race, and the others also attacked the human race. Everything descended into chaos. A rain of blood filled the space in front of the gate, falling to the ground. The human race's experts reacted quickly upon seeing this unfavorable situation. They quickened the pace and shot straight toward the gate. Once they arrived in front of it, they vanished. So you can charge forward yourself. Upon noticing this, the others also quickly shot toward the gate, breaking through the encirclement of the various races. Stop the human race. Kill them, roared one expert. It it. Do you think you can stop the human race? Death rippled, spatial slaughter. And Puda's disciple, Jai Wuming, appeared. When experts from the other worlds got in his way with a cold snort, he extended a single hand and a ripple spread. It was a terrifying spatial blade that destroyed the surrounding space. Wherever that ripple passed, those that blocked him were blown apart. Spatial energy. Get out of the way. A shocked cry rang out. Those experts blocking him fled as if they were avoiding a death god. Following that, a chilling killing intent appeared and countless experts exploded. A woman came forth. This woman was the Nine Underworld Luacha. What shocked people was that she hadn't even made a move, but those in her way had simply been blown apart by an invisible energy. Don't block her. She isn't human, shouted one of the underworld's supreme experts, his expression changing. Foolish life forms. You don't even recognize the noble Luacha race. The nine underworld Luacha sneered. At this moment, divine light flowed out of her body, forming a bizarre domain. No one dared to even get close to it. Her figure suddenly moved. With a sword in hand, she tore through space, causing countless startled cries to ring out. It's Long Chen. Seeing the direction she was going, they saw the motionless Long Chen whose hands were clasped behind his back. Just as her sword was no more than a few feet away from Long Chen, she was no longer able to push it forward. A strange law blocked her and sent her flying back. As for Long Chen, he didn't even glance at the Nine Underworld Luacha. He just slowly floated up to the gate. His expression infuriated the N in the Underworld Luacha. Being completely ignored was even more humiliating than being loathed. However, she knew that the two of them were separated by the limits of the laws. She was unable to attack him. If she tried to break this law, she was afraid that this would cause her to lose her chance to participate in the opening of the Three Thousand Worlds. 
She didn't dare to take that risk. Long Chen, your life is mine. The nine underworld Liuacha clenched her teeth. Long Chen still didn't even look at her. His attention was entirely on the Dragonblood warriors. The Dragonblood warriors knew what he was thinking. They immediately rushed toward the gate as soon as they were lifted. Although there were many layers of blockades, they still managed to make it through the chaos and vanished. Long Chen, Xia Chen, and Tua Ran could only relax when they saw that their people had entered. Only then did they fly toward the gate. Those that couldn't beat them didn't dare to block them. As for those who did dare to block them, they were too far and could only glare at them. Suddenly, Long Chen smiled and saw a figure right in front of the gate. Yu Qingxuan smiled at him. It could count as a greeting before she turned and entered the gate. Long Chen then lowered his head and saw Xia Yuhong smiling at him in the violet flame heaven capital. Xia Yuhong clenched his fist and wrapped his chest. Long Chen then nodded and wrapped his own chest with his fist as well. Long Chen gave a look at Yua Ran and Xia Chen. After that, the two of them immediately entered the gate and vanished. When Long Chen reached the gate, the void exploded. A lightning sword shattered spatial restrictions to attack Long Chen. Wang Tianhao, the experts on the ground, cried out in shock. He actually took the risk of attacking at this time. Was he crazy? Chapter 3731 Blood Soaked World Wing Tianhao actually cut through the spatial restrictions with the lightning clad wild blade and attacked Long Chen. Is he not afraid of losing his qualifications for entering the 3000 worlds? Although Wing Tianhao and Long Chen were already standing in front of the gate, any mishap that occurred at this time might result in them being rejected. Wang Tebei's expression also changed when he saw this. He hadn't expected Wang Tianhao to be so brazen. To take such a risk, just for Long Chen, was completely not worth it. All the other experts had almost entered the 3,000 worlds as they weren't as crazy as Wang Tianhao. Entering the 3,000 worlds was far more important. Wang Tianhao instantly appeared in front of Long Chen, and his wild blade erupted with lightning. Sorry, I'm worried about you dying in the 3,000 worlds at someone else's hand, so it would be better for me to take your life right now. Let me see what kind of disciple someone like Xia Guhong can raise. Wang Tianhao smiled sinisterly. Although Long Chen and Xia Guhong called each other brother, Wang Tianhao still thought that their connection was not ordinary. Even if they weren't master and disciple in name, they definitely did have such a relationship. Xia Guhong had been Wang Tebei's opponent for so many years. So, if Wang Tianhao could kill Long Chen in front of Xia Guhong, it would be winning back the face that Wang Tebei had lost all those years ago. A lightning sea appeared and roared behind Wang Tianhao, and the wild blade's lightning rooms revolved. The gate actually quivered because of this blade. What a terrifying thunder force! Even divine venerates were shocked. Wang Tianhao was still nothing more than a peak divine lord. If he became an immortal king, he would truly possess the power to challenge divine venerates. And Wang Tianhao's blade slashed through the air and came to a sudden stop right in front of Long Chen. Like it? Everyone was shocked to find Long Chen spread his arms and clamp them down right on top of the wild blade, catching a world domain divine item with his bare hands. People didn't dare to believe their eyes. Dragon marks had appeared on the backs of his left and right hands. When thunder force wrapped around Long Chen's arms, an explosive power thundered in people's ears. Long Chen is also capable of controlling Thunder Force. Just then, a giant dragon appeared behind Long Chen. It was Lei Linger who transferred her Thunder Force into Long Chen's hands. Thunder Force exploded and rumbled, enveloping both of them. After that, the sea of lightning widened. But all of a sudden, countless cracks appeared in the sky. 
the huge gate quivered and began to shrink. Wang Taibei's expression changed. Tian Hao, don't waste your time on him. Enter the three thousand worlds now, or the gate will close. Long Chen and Wang Tianhao were competing with Thunder Force. With Lei Lingner's power pouring out, it was like Long Chen's hands had fused with the wild blade. Wang Tianhao tried several times, but was unable to blow away Long Chen's hands. Long Chen looked at Wang Tianhao with a sinister smile. Wang Tianhao suddenly had a bad feeling. You think you can make me lose my chance at the three thousand worlds? Keep dreaming. I'll let you off for now, but I'll definitely kill you in the three thousand worlds. Wang Tianhao saw that the giant gate was many times smaller than before. With a trace of unwillingness, he pulled away. It was like the wild blade was pulled out of its sheath. It came out of Long Chen's grasp, leaving behind a sheath-like object in Long Chen's hands. Once the wild blade was pulled out, that sheath in Long Chen's hands exploded, transforming into runes that once more flowed into the wild blade. Just wait. Wang Tianhao snorted. Seeing the gate rapidly shrinking, he dove in and vanished without a trace. Long Chen also didn't dare to tarry and charged in. Just as the gate was about to slam shut, he narrowly managed to make his way in, causing countless people to sweat on his behalf. Even Xia Yuhong couldn't help sighing with relief once he saw Long Chen enter the three thousand worlds. Now, all that remained in the violet flame heaven capital were the elders of the various powers. Although all of them had some enmities between them, they weren't youngsters anymore, so they weren't so impetuous. They simply sat in their locations, waiting for their disciples to once more appear. What a shame. I was just a little bit off of linking up with the wild blades item spirit, side lay linger. Previously, they had only defended against Wang Tianhao's attack to buy time, time for Lei Linger to commune with the Wild Blade's item spirit. As long as she was able to brand the Wild Blade with her own runes, then this lightning divine weapon would be changing masters. However, ultimately they still let Wing Tianhao escape. They had only just been a bit off, so Lei Linger stamped her feet angrily. It's fine. You fed the item spirit so much of your energy just now. Although your power isn't as pure as Wang Tianhao's, your thunder force has variety, and the wild blade has already become addicted to it. In the future, Wang Tianhao won't be able to satisfy it with just his pure energy. When we meet next time, we won't even need to fight it. It will throw itself to our side, comforted Long Chen with a smile. Really, Lei Linger was delighted to hear that. She had used up a great deal of her energy this time, having fed it her own core energy. She was naturally furious to end up with nothing. Of course, Wild Blade's item spirit isn't very intelligent and acts according to instinct. It could not be easier to deal with it. Don't be impatient. Next time we meet, the Wild Blade will be yours, promised Long Chen. He he good. I'll have the wild blade, and Huo Linger will have the true fire sword. Together we'll help Big Brother beat up the bad people. Lei Linger giggled excitedly. Seeing that Lei Linger was no longer depressed, Long Chen sighed with relief. In truth, Long Chen had had a chance to snatch the wild blade just now. However, that would have ended up using even more of her core energy, causing her to fall into a slumber. That was not something that Long Chen wanted to see. Long Chen had to have Lei Linger maintain her peak condition. Only then would he dare to undergo his next tribulation. Without her help, there was no way for him to pass through his sure death heavenly tribulation. After comforting Lei Linger, he had her rest. Only then did he have a chance to examine this new world. Long Chen found himself in a desolate world, and all he saw was rocks. He then squatted down and picked up a stone. It had blood-colored veins inside of it. This was soaked in fresh blood. 
However, the blood wasn't from the human race, demonic beast race, or nether race. It has an aura that I've never sensed before. Long Chen examined the blood-colored rock closely. He sniffed it, but too much time had passed for him to recognize this blood. So everything that we saw was true. The location was most likely inside the three thousand worlds. Perhaps this place is hiding a heaven-shaking secret. Long Chen looked further and saw no end to this desolate world. In the end, he could only randomly pick a direction to go. Let's see whether or not the blessing of the butterfly spirit race works. I want to taste the flavor of luck as well. Chapter 3732 Scorched Earth Land I Soul Divine Flame Long Chen examined his surroundings as he traveled. But all of a sudden, he paused, a startled expression appearing on his face. Isn't this the scorched land that I saw before? Long Chen suddenly thought of what he had seen through the gate. He had seen a scorched area. Hence, he continued roaming and memorizing his surroundings. It really did match what he had seen through the gate. I remember that there was some rainbow light at the core of the scorched land. There seemed to be flame fluctuations. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. If this really was that scorched land, he might just find a treasure. Kuo Linger, help me out. Long Chen took out a compass with a single needle on it. Long Chen pressed his finger on the needle. After that, Kuo Linger appeared behind him and placed her hands on his back. Both of them closed their eyes, spreading their senses. Suddenly, the needle began to quiver. In the end, it pointed in a certain direction and came to a stop. We found it. The flame fluctuations are coming from that direction. Let's go take a look. I'll decide whether the butterfly spirit race's blessing works based on this, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen took out a talisman and crushed it. His body vanished, and when he reappeared, his surroundings had completely changed. This was a fixed-direction spatial transportation talisman, which had transported him to a great distance in one direction. After all, consecutive transportations were far faster than flying, and there was less chance of being noticed on the way. When Long Chen had used seven of those talismans, Huo Linger transmitted, Big Brother Long Chen, I can sense the flame fluctuations. We've gone off target a bit. It's slightly to the left. For these transportation talismans, the distance wasn't perfectly set, and due to spatial fluctuations, there was naturally some deviation. Long Chen continued in the direction that Huo Linger indicated. After two more transportations, he didn't even need her directions. He could sense the powerful flame fluctuations himself. Eventually, the flame fluctuations grew to the point that it was as if heaven and earth were about to ignite. However, at the same time, there was a chilling cold to it. These fluctuations, it's the ice soul divine flame. Long Chen and Huo Linger cried out at the same time. Although Huo Linger could use the ice soul divine flame and had devoured the Yanzu flame, neither of those flames had become her core flame. Huo Linger could control countless flames. She possessed the heaven-defying ability to transform her core flame into any of the flames that she controlled. However, in the immortal world, this heaven-defying ability of hers was limited. She was unable to transform into the ice soul divine flame or the Yan Zhu flame. She was only able to control a trace of the power of these two flames. Just drawing out this trace of their power required a huge amount of her core energy. Furthermore, she only had a trace of the ice soul divine flame, having barely absorbed any of it. Thus, she could only unleash a fraction of its power. Once she attacked with it once, she would have to wait a long time before unleashing it a second time. As for the Yanzu flame, although its ranking was higher than the ice soul divine flame, Due to her only being able to control a trace of its power, she couldn't use the Yanzu race's divine abilities. Furthermore, 
she only had a trace of the Yan Zhu flame's devouring ability. In terms of pure offensive power, the trace of the ice soul divine flame was actually stronger than the Yan Zhu flame. Huel Linger had always dreamed of refining the ice soul divine flame into her core flame. That would cause her power to soar to an unimaginable level. However, no matter how hard she tried, she was unable to do so. Even Long Chen had tried to help her out many times with this. Despite that it seemed like it should be possible, she never managed to succeed. In the end, Long Chen concluded that the top ten flames of the Heavenly Flame ranking had a special restriction imposed upon them by the Heavenly Daos. They could not be acquired in this manner. Now that they were sensing the fluctuations of the ice soul divine flame, Long Chen felt his heart pounding hard in his chest. Huel Linger almost charged out. Don't rush. Calm down. This is the three thousand worlds. There aren't just the experts from the outside world, but also the natives. We cannot be careless. Long Chen and Huo Linger continued to use transportation talismans to cut the distance. In any case, Xia Chen had given him an ample number of talismans. It didn't cost him money to use them, so Long Chen was aggrieved at all. After several more transportations, Long Chen saw a giant basin. It was so enormous that Long Chen could only barely see its edges. At the center of this basin were pillars of flames. There were hundreds of them, and every single pillar was a hundred miles wide. Furthermore, all of them gave off different fluctuations. Heavenly Killin Flame, Blood Devil Flame, Dual Peak Earth Core Flame. These are all flames on the Heavenly Flame ranking. Long Chen was shocked to see all these flames. He had actually arrived at a land of flames. He then looked at the very center of the basin, but his vision of it was blocked off by the other flame pillars, and he didn't dare to use pupil art to look beyond. Linger, can you see it? asked Long Chen. I can't see it. Curious. Despite clearly sensing the ice soul divine flames fluctuations, despite it supposedly being at the core, the fluctuations haven't gotten stronger even at this distance. It's like... It's like some power is isolating it, said Huo Linger slowly. Isolating it? Long Chen's heart pounded. Let's go take a look. Long Chen didn't keep looking. He directly used a transportation formation and arrived at the edge of the flame pillars. Only once he was right in front of them did he know what true shock was. These flames were gushing out from the ground into the heavens. The roaring of the flames was absolutely terrifying. Perhaps the flames themselves weren't that powerful, but their unending power was truly terrifying. Kyuo Linger, can you control these flame pillars? asked Long Chen. It's impossible. The main body is underground, and the current is too violent. My split bodies are unable to go against the current. Perhaps only my true body would be able to do so said Huo Linger. Long Chen could only give up on that thought. Originally, he had been planning on having Huo Linger's split bodies silently gain control over these flame pillars. That way, he would have a heaven-encompassing net. Regretfully, he had been thinking about it too simply. Since it wasn't possible, Long Chen slipped closer to the core. This region was enormous. But then, the surrounding space was unstable, so he didn't dare to use transportation formations here. One slip with the transportation formations here, and who knew where he would be brought to? Perhaps he would be sent directly into the chaotic flow of space. Long Chen had Huo Linger cover up their auras using her flame energy. They then pressed deeper into the core. Once they were close to the core, Long Chen saw countless human figures and hastily hid himself in a secluded location. Seeing that no one had noticed him, he slowly stuck his head. Looking at their robes, he was shocked. The sacred pill hall. 
Chapter 3733 Mother Flame Long Chen saw hundreds of thousands of experts wearing the ropes of the sacred pill hall. There was actually a transportation formation in front of him where experts continued to occasionally come out. Going further, he saw a huge barrier, and beyond the barrier, he saw a burning glacier. Big Brother Long Chen, the ice soul divine flame is inside the glacier, transmitted Huo Linger. Long Chen nodded. It seems that the three thousand worlds actually have the sacred pill halls people. They are natives. As for the ones coming through the transportation formation, they are the divine lord disciples. Their auras are different from the ones that were originally here. Long Chen noticed that the ones coming through the transportation formations had auras like him. Although their auras were powerful, they were quite different from the auras of the natives. It was most likely the result of their living environments influencing their auras. It seems that the sacred pill hall has set their sights on the ice soul. Long Chen saw three divine venerates standing guard over this place, so he couldn't help smiling bitterly. If he was to say that his luck was bad, well, he had at least run into the ice soul divine flame. But if he was to say that his luck was good, well, there was a pile of powerful experts blocking his way. The benefits weren't for him. Three divine venerates and tens of thousands of world kings, in addition to the hundreds of thousands of immortal kings. That lineup was absolutely terrifying. Long Chen didn't dare to make any rash moves, so he continued to watch in concealment. Fortunately, with Huo Linger present, his fluctuations were essentially merged with the auras of the surrounding flames. Even divine venerates couldn't sense him. More and more disciples were arriving. Amongst them were several supreme heavenly geniuses, and they bowed to the three divine venerates. Those divine venerates then asked them a few questions before they quietly stood to the side. Due to being too far, Long Chen didn't dare to eavesdrop, nor did he dare to look at them too closely for fear of them sensing him. He didn't even look at their mouths. So, he had no idea what they were seeing. However, he saw that these new disciples were looking at the glacier excitedly. With more and more disciples arriving, Long Chen stealthily slipped to a different location, avoiding the sight of those three divine venerates. He slowly got closer to those disciples. As more time passed, the number of disciples went from a few hundreds to thousands. The crowd gradually became packed and had to spread out. Long Chen was now close to them, so he came to a stop. He then had Huo Linger manifest the robes of the sacred pill hall's disciples. Once there were a million disciples, Long Chen took advantage of the widening crowd to silently join them. Due to there being too many people, it was difficult to avoid any mess. No one noticed the addition of a single person. Clearly, these people had come from the various nine heavens and didn't all know each other. The addition of Long Chen's face only caused people to glance at him before ignoring him. Just like that, Long Chen didn't even bother changing his spatial appearance. After muddling into the crowd, Long Chen no longer needed to be so careful. He looked toward the three divine venerates. At this moment, they were questioning another supreme genius who had come from the transportation formation. They asked what heaven and what domain he was from. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for this person to say that he was from the violet flame heaven. However, Long Chen had never heard of the domain he was from. The divine venerates nodded. Go join the others. Three days later, we will activate the ice soul divine flame and assist you in tempering your core flame. This is a rare opportunity, so make sure to maintain your peak condition. That disciple hastily bowed and joined the other disciples. The transportation formation continued to activate, with more disciples coming out every moment. With every breath, hundreds of people would come. However, these divine venerates didn't say anything to those disciples. They only asked a few questions of the supreme geniuses, 
and not even all of them. As more time passed, more people appeared. Three days later, there were over 40 million disciples gathered. This number made Long Chen jump in shock. The Sacred Pill Hall's disciples were all flame cultivators. Seventy percent were martial flame cultivators, and the remaining thirty percent had exceptionally powerful spiritual strength. Their auras were too peaceful to be fighters, so they must be pill cultivators. Furthermore, amongst these forty million disciples, there were hundreds of supreme geniuses. Long Chen was truly shocked. He had previously encountered the sacred pill hall. However, he hadn't felt them to be so powerful. He had even felt them to be a far cry from the blood kill hall and the nine underworld hall. Lord Brahma had four halls beneath him, the nine underworld hall, the blood kill hall, the sacred pill hall, and the martial god hall. Long Chen had never encountered the martial god hall but he had frequently faced the Bloodkill Hall and the Nine Underworld Hall. Long Chen had assumed that the four eyes should be relatively evenly matched, but when he saw this number of disciples, he found that it was a terrifying lineup. It had to be known that whether it was in Puta or Lyo Banking, they had only brought a few thousand disciples. Was the difference really so immense? Or did it mean that Imputa and Lyo Benkin were concealing their true power? Long Chen felt a bit lost. He couldn't quite understand Imputa and Lyo Benkin. Things probably weren't as simple as he imagined. Even three days later, more disciples continued to arrive. However, after a set amount of time, the transportation formation suddenly dimmed. At this time, the Divine Venerate stood up. Everyone's nerves tensed. One of the divine venerates looked over all the disciples and announced, You are the disciples of the sacred pill hall, the pious followers of Lord Brahma. Today you will receive divine venerate Brahma's blessing. In front of you is the ice soul divine flame ranked eighth on the heavenly flame ranking. This ice soul divine flame is not the ice soul seeds that you've seen in the outside world. It is the true mother flame. This is the one true ice soul divine flame. The others are all seeds. It has immense power, and despite being sealed for millions and millions of years, causing its power to be no more than one ten thousandth of its peak, it still possesses enough power to destroy the very world. In a bit, we will activate the heaven seizing grand formation. We will suppress the ice soul divine flame's power and allow you to absorb it. The ice soul divine flame possesses cold kai, a special variant amongst flames. If you can control a trace of the ice soul's power, whether it is for refining pills or fighting others, you will find many benefits. As for how much you can absorb, it's up to your own ability and luck. Other than that, let me give you some good news. The ice soul divine flame has already gone through similar absorptions hundreds of times. It has already reached its limit. After this time, it might completely vanish. That means that it is very likely for an ice soul master to appear amongst all of you. In other words, the ice soul energy that you absorb might very likely transform into a seed. As your cultivation base increases, it will strengthen until it becomes the true ice soul divine flame. When the divine venerate said this, all the disciples were incredibly excited. If they could control the ice soul divine flame, wouldn't they be unrivaled beneath the heavens? Activate the grand formation. Following the order of the divine venerate, Long Chen and the others were involuntarily pulled toward the glacier. Once they were pulled in, a majestic power erupted. Countless disciples screamed in pain and terror. Millions of disciples directly exploded, transforming into fragments of ice. However, those ice fragments were actually burning. They turned into nothingness in just a bit. Seeing this, the sacred pill hall's disciples were all horrified. Chapter 3734 Flame Kill and Long Chen jumped in shock. The pressure inside the glacier world was shocking, 
but that divine venerate didn't even give them a warning in advance. Long Chen had Huo Linger's help. With her having the power of the ice soul, this pressure was unable to harm him. However, to other experts, it was a fatal pressure. Their protective divine light instantly shattered. In front of the ice soul divine flame's pressure, they appeared incredibly weak. No. People did their best to resist that pressure, but they despaired. They actually ignited, not even able to last a breath's time before exploding. Right now, the world within the glacier became hell on earth. More and more of the sacred pill hall's disciples exploded, transforming into burning ice fragments. People tried to ask for help from the experts outside. Some people realized that this was a trap and tried to charge out. The path of experts is paved through blood and bones. Now that the grand formation is activated, there is no going back. No one can save you. If you want to live, your only option is to advance. If you cannot even withstand the ice soul's will, you are not qualified to be Lord Brahma's follower, said that divine venerate coldly from outside the barrier. In the short moment he spoke, another million experts exploded. In just a few short breaths, forty million experts were reduced to thirty million. Once they died, their bodies were turned into burning ice fragments. As they burned, the others felt the pressure lessen. Everyone calm down. Don't panic. Suppress your fear. Their deaths have bought time for us. Let us not waste this chance, shouted a supreme genius. This was a large, muscular man. His flame-colored hair stood on end like the mane of a lion. Following his shout, people did their best to expel their fear. They calmed down and fought the pressure of the ice soul divine flame Novaloon. Calm, they found that they were gradually getting accustomed to this terrifying pressure. They were delighted. But then after the corpses of those disciples were burnt to nothing, the pressure grew once more. Now, they understood the meaning of this supreme expert's words. This was clearly a trial by fire. Once the weak died, their bodies burned, buying time for the strong. Some people were already rushing toward the top of the glacier. Those were all supreme heavenly geniuses, and they seemed to have understood something. Following them, others also quickened the pace. They also understood that, if they wanted to live, they had to reach the core. There was no path of retreat. They didn't know what kind of trial this was, but they knew that they couldn't possibly all die. As long as they were strong enough, they could survive. The strongest display of power would be to reach the peak of the glacier. That was where the ice soul divine flame's true body was sealed. Getting close to it should prove their power. Seeing countless experts clenching their teeth and rushing forward, a cold chill appeared deep within Long Chen's eyes. He had figured out the sacred pill hall's plot here. This grand formation had a strange ability. Once people were killed, it would dilute a portion of the ice soul divine flame's power. This portion of power was then sealed by the formation. In the end, it would be absorbed by the experts that were alive. Long Chen wasn't a formation master, but through Hua Linger, he could sense what was going on. The experts here were all flame experts. After they died, their power would restrain the ice soul divine flame. As for the ice soul divine flame, it was sealed and powerless to resist. Long Chen could even sense its anger from the glacier. How vicious! Long Chen snorted and followed the crowd to the peak of the glacier. The pressure grew as they climbed. It was like an invisible world was crushing them, making it hard for them to breathe. However, as more people died, as more flames were produced, the pressure would weaken a bit before growing again. The true experts were not in actual danger. The glacier was a hundred thousand miles wide. During normal times, experts like them could cross this distance as easily as turning a hand. However, under the pressure of the ice soul, 
just walking was difficult. Even as they wrapped themselves in flames, a bone-chilling cold still struck them, invading their souls. Experts with weaker spiritual strength directly had their heads explode. No, I don't want to die. People collapsed. Watching as the people around them died one by one, while the peak of the glacier was still far away, despair overwhelmed them. In just an instant's stick's worth of time, another ten million people died. They could only advance, but there was no hope. They wanted to retreat, but there was no path back. They could only cry out in despair. As for the experts outside the barrier, they simply watched the scene play out apathetically. Hugh Olinger, can you commune with it? asked Long Chen. Not yet. I can clearly sense its existence and have sent it messages, but it is ignoring me, said Hugh Olinger. How troublesome. I could sense its anger just now, but now its will is weakening. It probably has reached its limit and cannot last much longer. Long Chen was worried. Long Chen looked around. This could not continue. As these people died, they were diluting the power of the ice soul divine flame. He had to get to it first. Long Chen then clenched his teeth, and lightning wings appeared on his back. He suddenly shot out like a bolt of lightning. What if? Long Chen instantly shot past everyone. Countless startled cries rang out. You want to get the ice soul divine flame first. Keep dreaming. As soon as Long Chen shot out, the large man with flame-colored hair form hand seals, and a heaven-shaking roar rang out. After that, the void trembled and a flame kiln appeared. Sitting on top of it, he also rushed toward the peak, following close behind Long Chen. The ancient flame kiln. Long Chen was shocked. The Killin was not a flame spirit beast, but an ancient divine beast. Long Chen hadn't expected this man to possess such a divine beast. To be able to summon it in the barrier, it had to be a core beast. The flame Killin was also as quick as lightning. It was right behind Long Chen. At this time, the other supreme heavenly geniuses also started to put in more effort. Some summoned flame wings, some stood on flying swords. Those without any particular special abilities simply ran, pushing their speed to the limit. Hundreds of supreme experts rushed toward the peak. They were now playing with their lives. Long Chen hadn't expected the flame kiln to be so fast. In just a few breaths' time, it was right behind him. Fuck whatever! Long Chen suddenly shouted and lightning exploded out of him. He transformed into a lightning falcon, instantly throwing the flame killin far behind him. The instant Long Chen transformed into a lightning falcon, some people outside the barrier cried out, their expressions changing. That divine venerate shouted, Kill him! He's not from our sacred pill hall! Chapter 3735 Biting the Hand That Feeds Yu Long Chen was wrapped in lightning and transformed into a giant lightning falcon, breaking through the void. This completely exposed his identity. It had to be known that although flame cultivators could control other powers, their flame energy had to be their main force. There was definitely no one in the sacred pill hall that could control such a powerful thunder force. The experts outside the barrier were shocked and enraged. They had never expected someone to be able to muddle their way in. He, his long chen, the dark light heaven's long chen. A disciple cried out. He was also someone from the dark light heaven. Long chen had destroyed a branch of the sacred pill hall in the dark light heaven, causing his arrest warrant to spread there. You dare to muddle your way into my sacred pill hall? Courting death, that fire-haired man roared. He was already a thousand miles behind Long Chen and couldn't catch up. Hence, he formed hand seals and a flame spear pierced through the air. The flame spear had just condensed when it whistled toward Long Chen. It was unknown what power he used, but the spear reached Long Chen's back the moment it left his hand. 
It has escaped spatial restrictions. Long Chen's heart shook. As expected, the world was truly large. There were countless hidden dragons and crouching tigers everywhere. Oh, a dragon mark appeared on Long Chen's fist, and he punched the spear. As a result, the spear exploded, and Long Chen tried to accelerate by borrowing its power. But unexpectedly, when the spear exploded, the void quivered. Runes then appeared around Long Chen, forming a giant net that sealed the space around him. Clearly, this large man had also thought of Long Chen's plan. There was no way he would let Long Chen borrow the power of his attack to accelerate. He even bound him. Long Chen snorted. At this moment, the true fire sword appeared and a layer of white light appeared on its edge. This runic wall was sliced through. Ice soul energy. When Long Chen's sword sliced through the runic wall, the disciples inside and the experts outside the barrier were all shocked. Without pause, Long Chen continued to rush toward the peak of the glacier. The fire-haired man was shocked and enraged. He tried to attack again, but Long Chen was already outside of his attack range. With a furious roar, he urged his flame Killin to continue chasing. Paul Master, what do we do? Outside the barrier, a divine venerate looked toward a white-haired elder that had not spoken all of this time. The white-haired elder's expression was also ugly. He was unable to figure out how Long Chen had snuck his way in. If Long Chen was just an ordinary disciple, he wouldn't care. But Long Chen possessed the ice soul's power, and this aspect made him uneasy. Should we use the formation to attack him? Asked one divine venerate. No. Once we use it, the formation will charge states, and the ice soul energy that it has absorbed so far will return to the ice soul. If that happened, all those disciples would have died for nothing, and all our efforts would be for naught. The white-haired elder shook his head. Then what can we do? The white-haired elder eyed Long Chen's rushing figure. His gaze grew sharp. He's a brat who isn't even a supreme. Even if he possesses a trace of the ice soul's power, he can't cause any big waves. We will keep an eye on any changes. In any case, with the grand formation active, he cannot escape. Leave it to these children to deal with him. But I'm afraid of him gaining the recognition of the ice soul. It is impossible. And even if obtains the ice soul's recognition, it means nothing. The ice soul is chained by the heavenly flame essence bull chains. Even if it accepts him as master, it still needs us to release it. Those chains were personally made by fallen day night. A world domain divine item is nothing more than a joke in front of them, said the white haired elder indifferently. Hearing that, they all relaxed a great deal. However, the white haired elder then coldly said, something that we've been planning and preparing for millions of years actually resulted in such a careless mistake. Are you all pigs? This anger immediately made those experts quiver in terror. A half-step divine venerate knelt on the ground and said, reporting to Hall Master, all three barriers around this place are perfectly intact. Disciple has been keeping an eye all this time without the slightest negligence. Hall Master, please take note of this. Hall Master, we've checked the faith energy of every disciple who came out of the transportation formation. They had to go through three inspections. No one could possibly slip in, said another expert. If he didn't come from outside and didn't use the transportation formation, does that mean he was born here? Demanded a divine venerate angrily, thinking that they were trying to skirt responsibility. Don't shout. This person definitely came from outside, said the white-haired elder. But, but, uh, the half-step divine venerate turned pale. He was responsible for the outside barriers, and he couldn't bear this blame. Our barriers are formless and linked together with the core formation. That little fellow possesses ice soul energy. That is why he was able to escape the detection of the barriers. 
this isn't your fault after all who would have thought that someone with ice soul energy would come said the white-haired elder hearing that every one understood that half-step divine venery also sighed with relief when he heard that the elder had no intention of blaming him his speed is astonishing someone cried out in shock although that fire-haired expert was chasing with all his power he was still cast far into the distance by long chen the others were still midway up the mountain but long chen had reached the peak long chen's thunder force pushed him through this violent pressure the closer he got to the peak the greater the pressure grew even long chen's speed started to lag idiot i came to save you hurry up and release me cursed long chen big brother long chen it's useless it's too weak i'm worried that it can't hang on transmitted huo linger nervously the ice soul divine flame had been sealed for so long and its energy was constantly absorbed after millions and millions of years it was unknown how much of its power had been taken away it was on the verge of collapse now and no one knew who would be crushing its final ember the sacred pill hall's method was to destroy the ice soul divine flame's will pushing it to its weakest state once its will crumbled under the threat of death it would form a new spirit and recognize a master then their millions and millions of years of planning would pay off right now the ice soul divine flame was on the verge of extinguishing its will was about to crumble due to the millions of deaths of the sacred pill hall's disciples its will was no longer clear it could only act instinctively as long chen's speed dropped the other experts behind him were rushing forward as quickly as possible however their speed began to drop as well furthermore more and more disciples died the number of disciples still alive numbered no more than one million while resisting all of this pressure long chen finally reached the peak once he did he saw a cage bound by eight golden chains within the cage was a white-robed woman without hesitation long chen rushed toward the cage but the moment he did that white-robed woman opened her eyes and chilling killing intent filled the world Who caught off guard long chen was knocked back by a terrifying force that made him cough up blood cracks covered his entire body do you have some fucking illness long chen shouted furiously cursing this woman chapter three thousand seven hundred thirty six rush of excitement shameless bastard inferior life form my ice soul never submits to any one do you think that tormenting me like this will make me obedient even if i die my unyielding will will be inherited you might imprison my body in this world but you can't trap my will once i die here the circulation of the heavenly dows will cause the new ice soul to possess an unyielding will it definitely won't land in your hands the woman glared at long chen her gemstone like eyes contained immense hotness and iciness she was a peerless beauty wearing snow-white robes even trapped in this cage her peerless air was not covered up she was like a caged empress even in this situation she possessed an air of arrogance that looked down on the rest of the world one that would never submit idiot open your eyes i came to save you cursed long chen this ice soul was not at all like the heavenly rainbow fairy the heavenly rainbow fairy was kind and gentle but this ice soul was completely unreasonable she had almost taken his life just now do you think that mixing in with the crowd with a trace of ice soul's energy will win my trust fool you've tried this move on me countless times already i won't fall for it since you sent yourself to me i'll take that ice soul energy and slaughter everyone here the white robed woman's eyes were full of killing intent she suddenly began forming hand seals but yuo linger cried out she was originally inside long chen but a terrifying power pulled her off of him at this moment are you crazy 
Long Chen was enraged. He hadn't expected the ice soul to be so unreasonable. He grabbed Huo Linger. Suddenly, the world quivered and the eight chains clanked. Divine light exploded out of them, suppressing the woman's power. Despite that, Huo Linger was already pulled over by an invisible power. Long Chen pulled, but suddenly found that he was unable to keep hold of her. Huo Linger screamed. She did not possess the slightest ability to retaliate in front of the ice soul. Who would have thought? You also have a trace of Yan Zhu's power. Excellent. I'll use your power to slaughter all your companions. The white-robed woman was a bit surprised. If you dare to harm her, I will kill you. Long Chen's fury exploded. But even as his killing intent exploded, Huo Linger was a spiritual body caught by that woman. He was unable to attack and could only watch as Huo Linger was pulled into the cage. Long Chen currently only had one functioning eye. But at this moment, it instantly turned black and a terrifying dark energy gushed out. Just as Long Chen was about to use the purgatory eyes, the white-robed woman stopped her actions. At some point, a lotus appeared on Huo Linger's forehead. It was a golden lotus. The moment it appeared, the white-robed woman's killing intent instantly vanished. She stared blankly at the golden lotus. Suddenly, she let go. Huo Linger regained her freedom and instantly shot back into the primal chaos space, not daring to come back out. So you really did come to save me? The white-robed woman murmured to Long Chen. Thought that, I'm not saving you anymore. Your death no longer has anything to do with me. Long Chen cursed furiously. This woman actually dared to think of devouring Huo Linger. That was touching his reverse scale. He was barely stopping himself from using the purgatory eyes. The woman looked at the enraged Long Chen. Her mouth moved as if she was trying to say an apology, but she didn't actually say anything. Long Chen checked on Huo Linger. He found that although she was traumatized, she wasn't injured. Long Chen then snorted and turned to leave. You can't leave. This grand formation is under their control. With your low cultivation base, you will be sending yourself to death like this. I was rash just now. In order to make it up to you, I will give you my last bit of power, said the white-robed woman. Noni. I can get out without you, snorted Long Chen. A black dagger then appeared in his hand. He had already checked the formation. It wasn't made of faith energy, so the black dagger could break it. If not, he would use the purgatory eyes. Worst case, he would just be blind for a few days but still have his spiritual perception. As long as he didn't fight, it wasn't a big problem. In any case, he didn't want to talk with this woman. You should let me send you out, said the woman. Send me out. I'm the one sending you out. If I can't obtain you, no one can, declared Long Chen angrily. The white-robed woman looked at Long Chen. These chains and this cage are made from heavenly flame essence gold, and there are first-generation Jilai runes carved into them. They cannot be broken, before she was even done speaking. Long Chen's black dagger struck the chains. As a result, sparks flew and the chains snapped. However, this time, they weren't sliced through as easily as tofu. Although the chains were broken, they shook Long Chen's arm, causing his hand to bleed. The great desolate, the white-robed woman's pupils shrank. She cried out but suddenly thought of something and clamped her mouth with her hands. Oh, Suddenly, the void exploded. She put aside her shock, and with a cold snort, waved her hand. The next moment, the cage binding her exploded. Long Chen then severed the other side of the chains, taking them along with the fragments of the cage. He knew that these things were definitely treasures. He would bring them back for Zaya Chen and Guo Ran to research. Just then, the barrier above his head rumbled. Hundreds of thousands of experts from the sacred pill hole appeared above him. 
every single one of them was forming hand seals and stood on top of the barrier looking down on long chen even those three divine venerates had taken action a formation disk appeared in each of their hands erupting terrifying divine might long chen felt like an entire cosmos was crushing him from above all of them had terrified expressions they were igniting their essence blood to support the grand formation at this moment the glacier beneath long chen's feet rumbled long chen felt like all his bones would be crushed as for those disciples of the sacred pill hall before they even knew what was happening they were sent flying by a terrifying force long chen snorted and was about to charge out he knew that as long as he left the peak the pressure would lessen he could break free from the weakest spot but suddenly his arm tightened the white robe the woman had grabbed him lend me your flame energy no long chen responded angrily the white robed woman said lend me power let me vent my wrath i'm willing to share all my energy with that young lady hearing that long chen felt a rush of excitement chapter three thousand seven hundred thirty seven collecting interest it's a deal even before long chen answered huo linga ran out she was a bit afraid of this woman but also full of anticipation we are both flame spirits you know i'm not lying the white robed woman looked at huo linger all right huo linger directly transformed into a flame dragon that wrapped around the woman's body she then merged into her just like that in that instant long chen lost his connection with huo linger long chen's heart sank their spirits were connected having lost their connection he felt a bit nervous for some reason he was afraid now hold me the white-robed woman suddenly looked at long chen her expression was cold and detached a long chen was startled hurry she frowned all right although she was a beautiful woman she was still a flame spirit so holding her shouldn't count for anything long chen spread his arms toward her from the back just as he held her she frowned even harder oh long chen hastily ran behind her and held her he not only smelled her fragrance but he even felt a cold shiver in his soul right now a bone chilling cold and a terrifying heat entered his body the mix of hot and cold almost made him cough up blood the white-robed woman looked at all those experts above her killing intent filled her eyes you have bestowed upon me millions and millions of years of pain and humiliation i will never forget it today i'll collect some interest she formed hand seals and the glacier beneath her feet exploded all the disciples inside exploded into dust by a terrifying wave of power only the supreme disciples were able to barely hold on however they were still blasted into the distance they then looked at the woman in horror the glacier exploded causing white light to gather around her in that instant the three divine venerates expressions completely changed they were shocked to find that the formation had lost effect the life flames of those heavenly geniuses didn't end up diluting her power they instead were absorbed by her it's yan zu energy long chen saw countless black spots appear in the void when the glacier exploded those black spots were what absorbed the life flames of the dead disciples the grand dows are emotionless the cycle of karma flows by my name as i soul i order the ten thousand laws using my soul destroy the cosmos i soul divine sword following her chant white light filled the world and condensed into a giant sword it was a giant sword whose entire body looked like cold jade and its tip was pointed at the experts above the barrier seeing this those three divine venerates were horrified Fun. The three divine venerates were the first to flee. Boom! They had just vanished when the white sword pierced through the barrier and exploded amongst the hundreds of thousands of experts. 
a white ripple spread and any one struck by it was blown apart it was like some energy inside their bodies was detonating they had no power to resist in the slightest other than the three divine venerates the hundreds of thousands of experts of the sacred pill hall were wiped out the barrier also crumbled not alone calm when the barrier fell those giant flame pillars stopped spurting those flame pillars were also a part of the formation controlling the ice soul ice and snow fell every snowflake was burning the laws of the heavenly dows were thrown into chaos long chen was hiding behind her and despite holding her he received quite the blow the mix of hot and cold felt like two invisible hands twisting his body almost causing him to cough up blood the ice soul's power was truly terrifying this was the ice soul that was already exhausted long chen couldn't imagine how powerful the ice soul in peak condition would be it was no wonder that it was ranked above the heavenly rainbow flame after this attack the white-robed woman's aura plummeted her body even became translucent it seemed that although that attack was terrifying she had to pay an immense price i'm out of energy help me pull out the foundation stones after saying that her body slowly vanished and huo linger reappeared her body now had the white-robed woman's aura on her huo linger's aura was also extremely weak she immediately returned to the primal chaos space to recuperate what that's it i thought that you were bringing me away long chen was dumbfounded die suddenly the void exploded the fire-haired man broke through space stabbing a spear at long chen's head just as he appeared an enormous figure also appeared behind long chen sharp claws whistled toward long chen it was his mount the flame killin the flame killin's aura was exceedingly terrifying even more terrifying than a supreme heavenly genius with one attacking from the front and one attacking from the back their cooperation was flawless they completely sealed all directions i'll kill you when i have time long chen snorted and suddenly sank into a hole the red-haired man and the flame kill and crash right past each other even at such a close distance they didn't strike each other after missing the fire-haired man chased after long chen his flame kill and followed him retreat leave this person to me suddenly three figures appeared in the air they were the three divine venerates that had noticed the situation and fled in time at this moment their expressions were exceedingly ugly although the three of them had escaped a calamity all their subordinates were dead most infuriating of all was that only a few hundred supreme disciples had survived amongst the forty million disciples it was a responsibility that they would be unable to survive however compared to those people's deaths the most frightening thing was the ice soul escaping its bindings if she did flee everything would be over for them the first thing the three of them thought of was to capture long chen and reclaim the ice soul seeing the fire-haired man chasing long chen they ordered him to stop they had to personally capture long chen to prevent any accidents however the fire-haired man was extremely prideful and didn't listen to them this person's life is mine i will take full responsibility shouted the fire-haired man coldly you yeah. the white-haired elder was enraged but also helpless that was because this fire-haired man's status was special although the white-haired elder was the hall master of the sacred pill hall in the three thousand worlds he didn't dare to forcibly order this man to do anything that was because this fire-haired man was the disciple of the sacred pill hall's faith god just like the blood kill hall and the nine underworld hall the sacred pill hall had many branches and many separate hall masters but there was only one faith god having unquestionable authority their disciples also had absolute privilege because of this the three of them couldn't order around the fire-haired man they could only form an encirclement to prevent long chen from fleeing 
Just then, the few hundred supreme geniuses also doved down. Since the ice soul had vanished, they were all enraged and were going to vent it all on Long Chen. Long Chen heard the words of the three divine venerates and sighed inside. This white-robed woman had really conned him. Instead of bringing him away, she actually gave him such a tough mission. Long Chen dove underground and noticed a giant formation disk that was like a chessboard deep underground. It was covered in countless giant divine stones, and every single stone emitted terrifying flame fluctuations. These should be the foundation stones. Get in here! Long Chen cast out a net of lightning that wrapped around all the stones. Chapter 3738 Terrifying in Changsheng These flame stones were embedded into the formation and could not be broken. But the white-robed woman's attack had shaken them loose, so Long Chen easily sucked them all into the primal chaos space. Long Chen had just taken the flame foundation stone when he immediately took out the Ming Ong saber and slashed the space behind him. Oop! With a heaven-shaking explosion, Long Chen's saber struck a flame spear. Long Chen then cast his net, took the stones, and attacked all in one go. The result of this exchange was Long Chen being forced back several steps, his blood kai flipping within him. He was shocked inside. This fire-haired man's power was actually so immense. When Long Chen saw the runes on the spear in the fire-haired man's hand, Long Chen's pupils shrank. Faith energy? This spear was actually a world domain divine item nourished by faith energy. Faith symbols covered it. You are the successor of the sacred pill hall's master. Long Chen swung out his hand, looking at him coldly. I'm Hall Master Yin Tian's final disciple, Yin Cheng Sheng. I am also the heir of the Yin clan's bloodline. Now you can die in peace. The fire-haired man pointed his spear at Long Chen. No wonder you can control faith energy. But your name isn't very good. Based on my many years of killing, all those called Changshengan end up having bad deaths, said Long Chen. Cultivators, especially powerful ones, liked to call themselves rather domineering names. Many people would have names with characters like Heaven, Earth, Sun, Moon, Star, etc. In truth, even just a name had a connection to the heavenly Tao's. It involved karma, and if someone's life was not tough enough, it would come to a premature end. Some people who had such names chosen for them before being born would die in the womb. Without a tough enough life, they couldn't endure such a domineering name. For the likes of those with incredibly arrogant names like Long Aoshin, Zhao Rishin, Elianchen, or those like Baishin or Tamba, if their lives weren't tough enough, they would definitely die before adulthood. Even if they did reach adulthood, this name alone would cause fate to twist and turn for them. Such a name was not something that just anyone could endure. For example, Long Chen's father, Long Tiang Xiao, had the heaven character in his name, but it had no meaning of disrespect toward the heavens. Despite this, he still spent a lifetime fighting. He brushed up against death countless times and was forced into desperate straits. Furthermore, he was nothing more than a secular cultivator. Perhaps the heaven character in his name couldn't be blamed for all of it, but such names always brought karma with them. As for Long Chen's biological father, Long Zhanchen, he had been incredibly glorious back in the day in the Long family. He was claimed to be the number one genius of the world and had created his own cultivation technique. As an unprecedented genius on the martial heaven continent, he was praised by the Long family as an existence that could stand shoulder to shoulder with the sovereigns. However, what happened afterward? As soon as his child was born, he faced calamity. He was separated from his wife and child. Now, no one knew where he was. Janshin was an arrogant name, meaning to fight the heavens. It was clearly a name that defied the heavens. Such a provocation 
toward the heavenly dows made it fated that he would have a tougher life than others perhaps if it wasn't for long chen's mother giving long chen a more ordinary name than with long jantian's character he would have definitely given long chen an even more domineering name if that really happened long chen would truly be defying the heavens just to exist however his mother did not wish for her child to be some peerless genius she didn't need him to have incredible accomplishments if he could live an ordinary peaceful life she would already be happy thus a name truly couldn't be randomly made some people's names had taboo characters and in order to survive they either had to live peaceful lives have exceptionally tough lives be blessed with fortune or accumulate good karma to gain the favor of the heavenly dows only then would they not be beset by calamity and disaster however of all the people that long chen had encountered all those given the name Cheng sheng had bad ends in fact long chen remembered that at least eighty heavenly geniuses that he had slain were named Cheng sheng as for those people who died at his hands without ever getting a chance to say their names it was unknown how many of them were called Cheng sheng in the end they never lived up to their name today he encountered another one you're the one who won't have a good death hand over the ice soul and i'll leave you with an intact corpse if not i'll make you suffer a life worse than death and the ice soul will still be mine said yin chang sheng coldly his flame kiln roared beside him its pair of ominous eyes glaring at long chen it was like it was echoing yin chang sheng's words hand over the ice soul let's see if you have the ability to make me sneered long chen his blood kai quivered and the minghong saber rumbled his aura crazily rose like a dragon awaking long chen had only been at a disadvantage in the previous fight due to rapidly taking the foundation stones this time long chen would be facing him at full power since you wish to die so badly i'll fulfill your wish as soon as long chen entered a fighting state killing intent exploded out of yin chang sheng he found that the other supreme geniuses were also rushing over although he was the disciple of the master of the sacred pill hall as well as his descendant the competition for the ice soul would be a competition of power and luck once hundreds of supreme heavenly geniuses came over if someone else landed the killing blow on long chen the ice soul would change masters he wouldn't be able to force others to hand it over or have a right to attack them for it my great god hear your devout followers call bestow me your divine power assist me in vanquishing my enemies white light appeared on top of yin chang sheng's spear following his chant powerful faith energy enveloped him and the runes on his spear quickly lit up it was like an ancient divine beast awakening but the moment yin chang sheng moved his faith energy ignited his blood kai it was like he was possessed by a god and his spear's power suppressed the very heavens long chen was shocked to find that yin chang sheng's faith energy was not at all weaker than lio benkeng's from back then how can his faith energy be so terrifying long chen's heart thudded with a roar his astral energy erupted his divine ring and astral sea appeared and he swung the minghong saber with all his power but long chen's arms jolted facing this attack he coughed up blood and was blown back nine steps with every step the earth beneath his feet collapsed this land was originally covered by a grand formation with the foundation stones taken the formation's power plummeted and the immense power was shaking this underground world on long chen's final step a figure silently appeared it was yin chang sheng's flame kiln it was unknown what divine ability it used but it simply appeared its gaping maw closed around long chen scram long chen's saber was outside its mouth and unable to block it soul lightning flew out of his left hand Boom. the flame kiln roared in pain 
its head split open, its blood spraying. It was almost blasted apart by Long Chen's attack. Long Chen was shocked and enraged by Yin Cheng Sheng's power. How did he possess this much faith energy? But his competitive spirit was ignited. Within the same realm, he had never suffered such a loss in this lifetime. Split the heavens. Long Chen raised his saber toward Yin Cheng Sheng. Just as he was about to decide which one of them was stronger, the white-robed woman's voice rang out in his head. Not even a divine venerate is necessarily a match for him in his current state. Live. One Cheng Sheng equals long life. Chapter 3739 Borrowing Power to Fight What? Long Chen was shocked, unable to believe what he was hearing. Those experts of the sacred pill hall that I killed had their faith energy dissipate back into heaven and earth. This person is the heir to this faith energy and is now utilizing it. Do you think you can beat the combined faith energy of over 40 million experts? The white-robed woman's voice rang out in Long Chen's head again. Long Chen now understood how Yin Cheng Shen was so powerful. This wasn't his own power, so Long Chen felt better now. Most importantly, before all of the faith energy of those 40 million experts is used up, it will be very difficult for you to actually harm his body. His faith energy is protecting him, and now his power is probably not inferior to those three divine venerates outside. It is meaningless for you to fight him directly, said the white-robed woman. With that, Long Chen no longer cared to fight. Otherwise, he would definitely decide who was stronger today. The current you is not a match for him. However, then, the white-robed woman added another line that resulted in Long Chen's anger being ignited once more. Isn't that all thanks to you? You injured me in a way that I cannot instantly recover from. Otherwise, how would I be at a disadvantage even with his faith energy? If she hadn't mentioned this, he wouldn't have brought it up. But now he was enraged. Long Chen had wanted to save her, and Huo Linger was a flame spirit just like her. Supposedly, they were on the same side, so he hadn't been on guard against her. It was precisely due to this that when the white-robed woman unleashed her ice soul energy, he was severely injured. His physical and spiritual bodies were badly damaged. Even with the primal chaos space's energy, he wasn't able to instantly heal. If his power wasn't reduced due to this injury, even with this faith energy, Yin Cheng Sheng would not be able to make Long Chen cough up blood from that attack. This all started with Long Chen being injured by her. For her to unashamedly say that he wasn't a match for her, Long Chen was naturally enraged. The white-robed woman fell silent. She gathered the foundation stones that Long Chen had gathered into a special formation. She then sat lotus style, holding the listless Hua Linger as well. The two of them began absorbing the energy of the foundation stones to recover. She actually began to ignore Long Chen. Just then, a heaven-shaking spear once more pierced toward Long Chen. As for the flame killin', it was at the rear to Long Chen's left. It opened its mouth, unleashing a flame sword at Long Chen. Its explosive power compressed space to the point where it felt like the world almost exploded. The flame killin' was quite intelligent. Its attack was intentionally one step slower than Yin Cheng Sheng's, and at a difficult angle to block. At most, Long Chen would only be able to dodge one of these two attacks. If Long Chen dodged the first, he would definitely be struck by the second, and the first attacker would then have time to attack again. Furthermore, after blocking one, Long Chen would definitely have no time to properly block the next attack. Hastily blocking would definitely put him at a disadvantage. Together, this beast and man combo was working seamlessly. Suddenly, Long Chen began to chant, and a sacred scripture rang out. Long Chen's sword met Yin Chang Sheng's spear once more, and Yin Chang Sheng was shocked to find that his spear's power was being drawn to the side. Boom. 
Yin Chang Sheng's spear directly smashed into his flame Killin's attack. Get out of the way, shouted Yin Chang Sheng. Long Chen's true fire sword was attached to Yin Chang Sheng's spear now, and together they pointed toward the flame Killin. A terrifying ray of divine light then shot out of the spear head. Seeing this, the flame Killin howled. Its body was directly pierced through, and blood sprayed out of it. Its body then flew into the distance. The Yin Chang Sheng's fury exploded. His flame Killin was severely wounded, perhaps even dead. However, before he could even do anything, Long Chen's hand slapped him in the face. Yin Cheng Sheng was set flying along with his spear. Hundreds of supreme experts were Russian. Just then, Yin Cheng Sheng blasted into their midst, startling them. They hastily got out of the way. Split the heavens three. A giant saber image tore through this underground world, slashing toward Yin Cheng Sheng. The timing of this attack was perfect, striking just as Yin Cheng Sheng had yet to stabilize himself. As for the others, they were getting out of his way. This attack from Long Chen contained his undefeatable will, forcing even hundreds of supreme heavenly geniuses to scatter in trepidation. Boom! Heaven and earth were cleaved apart. When the underground world collapsed, fragments of the glacier flew out along with the supreme heavenly geniuses. The saber image continued to push through the ground, so the earth continued to be cleaved apart. Right in front of the saber image, Yin Chang Sheng was roaring and blocking it with his spear. He was pushed back hundreds of miles before he managed to stabilize. After that, with a swing of his spear, the saber image was shattered. Long Chen. Yin Cheng Sheng roared furiously. He shot back to the core of the battlefield because Long Chen was now standing right at the core, lightning flowing around him. Long Chen was looking down on him disdainfully. Navalun, come what dog shit take Shen. Even with faith energy, you are only at this level. Since these three fellows are here, I'll take your little life another day. Long Chen's figure suddenly shook, and he rushed out into the distance. His speed was astounding. You think you can flee? Keep dreaming. Just then, the three divine venerates in the air snorted. One of them moved to block Long Chen. All of a sudden, in the opposite direction, a ray of light shot out. Its speed was even greater. That's the real one. The white-haired elder and the other divine venerate immediately attacked at the same time. Long Chen was going precisely between the two of them. Afraid that one person might not be enough, they both moved to stop him. However, at that moment, the earth erupted and a third Long Chen appeared. Everyone's expression changed. Idiots. I'm the real one. This was a good first meeting. Let us meet again. But next time, I'll be taking your corpses. Long Chen sneered and waved the talisman in his hand. He then vanished. Just as he did, a ray of sword light slashed down where he was. Fragments of space-time flew about. Regretfully, the white-haired elder's attack landed on nothing. Long Chen was already gone. Two more explosions rang out. The first Long Chen to appear transformed into lightning runes that dissipated, and the second Long Chen transformed into a bloody talisman. The first Long Chen was a lightning clone, while the other was a substitute talisman. The lightning clone had his aura making it indistinguishable, while the talisman had his essence blood attached to it, making it also indistinguishable. As a result, even surrounded by hundreds of supreme heavenly geniuses and three divine venerates, Long Chen easily escaped. Long Chen, I'll tear your corpse into ten thousand pieces. Long Chen vanished, leaving no trace of himself. Seeing this, Yin Cheng Sheng roared furiously. His wild killing intent caused the wind and clouds to change color. Chapter 3740 Arrest Warrant Long Chen's escape caused the three divine venerates' expressions to completely change.
their expressions were exceedingly ugly now the ice soul divine flame had been suppressed for millions and millions of years the efforts of many generations of people just as everything was about to pay off ended in failure the three divine venerates then glared at yin cheng sheng if it weren't for his special status they would definitely kill him right now if it weren't for him the three of them would have directly attacked not giving long chen any chance to scheme like this then how would he escape you idiot fool the supreme geniuses cursed yin cheng sheng Long Chen had actually fled from his grasp with the ice soul divine flame. Of over forty million disciples, only a few hundred survived. The deaths of those disciples were supposed to be paving the path for these supreme experts. But the result, those disciples died, and the benefits were all taken by Long Chen. They had all fought for their lives and gained nothing from it. As for Yin Cheng Sheng, he had shot out and engaged in a fight with Long Chen without any thought of working together. If they had joined forces, there was no way Long Chen could escape. If you don't have the ability, then stop showing off. If you can't beat someone, don't act like big shit. Every single one of us was relying on the ice soul divine flame to temper our bodies and souls before advancing to the immortal king realm using it as a foundation for perfect advancement now all because of you the efforts of so many generations of people have been wasted how do you still have the face to roar why don't you just kill yourself to escape the shame sneered a supreme expert he pointed his sword at yin chang sheng and cursed him furiously the ice soul had been sealed for millions and millions of years Every time the three thousand worlds opened, the sacred pill hall's disciples within the nine heavens and ten lands, as well as the three thousand worlds, would rush over to absorb the ice soul's energy. Hundreds of thousands or even millions of years might pass before the next opportunity. Due to this, some supreme geniuses even sealed themselves after they had reached the peak of the divine lord realm they would wait millions of years just for the chance to absorb the ice soul's energy they also wanted to test their luck to see if one of them would be the lucky person to become the master of the ice soul this furious expert cursing yin chang shen in particular had sealed himself for many centuries he had waited all of this time and now his hopes were extinguished how could he not be enraged i'll give you a chance Let's have a fair fight and let the heavens decide life and death. The sword wielding man's killing intent sword as he looked at Yin Chang Shen. Die. Yin Chang Shen was already fuming at having Long Chen escape along with the ice soul. Now that he had to endure everyone's blame, he lost control. That sword wielding expert directly exploded. Blood mist filled the air. After that, a humanoid clump of flames appeared within the blood mist. That was his Yuan spirit. Seeing this, Yin Cheng Sheng waved his hand, and the Yuan spirit was dragged into his hand. It was like a chicken. This powerful supreme genius actually didn't have the slightest ability to resist Yin Cheng Sheng. This sight horrified the others. They saw that person's Yuan spirit struggling crazily but he was unable to escape Yin Cheng Sheng's hand. My master is the master of the sacred pill hall, Yin Tian. He is your god. As for me, I am the future hall master. My master has already passed down his mantle to me. Who do you think you are to dare be disrespectful to me? Yin Cheng Sheng squeezed, and that person's you in spirit exploded. A supreme expert was slain just like that. The others stared at Yin Cheng Sheng in terror. These disciples now understood why the three divine venerates only watched with ugly expressions despite Yin Cheng Sheng having caused such a disaster. The disciples of gods all had faith in their gods. They were Yin Tian's followers, and their faith energy was a bridge to him. Not a single one of them could be the slightest bit disobedient to him. As Yin Tian's disciple, Yin Cheng Sheng could control his faith energy. 
that was essentially controlling their lives. It didn't matter how strong they were. They were controlled by his faith energy. If they attacked Yin Changsheng, they would simply die. Because Long Chen and Yin Changsheng had spoken underground before, they hadn't heard about Yin Changsheng's special identity. Now, although they were still enraged, they no longer dared to express it. After killing that disciple and shocking everyone, Yin Changsheng actually grew increasingly angry. Originally, the I-Soul trial was his chance to show off. He concealed his identity and came here alone because his master had arranged things for him. He wanted his disciple to stand out in this trial and make everyone else submit to him. That would make it even easier for him to gain their faith energy. The plan was for Yin Changsheng to lead everyone to the ice soul. He would then gradually show his power and leadership ability. After all, there was no way to subdue the ice soul. It would rather die than submit, so no one could obtain its approval. But the slain disciples would provide Yin Changsheng with immense faith energy. Yin Tian had also transmitted to him how to control this faith energy and obtain the iced soul. However, who would have thought that Long Chen would appear here and ruin everything? Yin Changsheng had no chance to even utilize the technique to subdue the iced soul before the iced soul ran into Long Chen's primal chaos space. Other than subduing the ice soul with faith energy, Yin Changsheng didn't know how to control this faith energy. All he could do was pour it into his spear to fight Long Chen. He had no idea how else to use it. He was like a beggar who had no idea how to use the mountain of gold he had. All of that power and no way to use it. He could only watch as Long Chen escaped. Transmit my orders. All people of the Sacred Pill Hall are to do their best to arrest Long Chen. I will definitely tear his corpse into ten thousand pieces, declared Yin Changsheng coldly. Yes, the three divine venerates could only nod. The white-haired elder hesitantly said, Master Ching Shen, looking for Long Chen now is no different than searching the ocean for a needle. Leave looking for him to us. You should adjust your condition and prepare to become immortal kings with the others. Since the ice soul is gone, we can only use a backup. All the grand formations can be activated to quickly create another heavenly flame world. Considering how large the three thousand worlds were, and that Long Chen had escaped with a spatial talisman, chasing after him would be far too difficult. If they delayed their breakthroughs to immortal kings due to wasting time looking for Long Chen, then it would be a calamity if they were still stuck as divine lords when Long Chen came for them as an immortal king. Then I'll leave it up to you. Yin Cheng Sheng suppressed his anger and nodded. This was all that he could do. From over forty million disciples and hundreds of thousands of elders, they were reduced to only these three elders and a few hundred disciples. The giant flame pillars were gone, and so was the flame barrier. Moreover, the skyscraping glacier had collapsed next to a ruined land with a giant hole in the ground. From the sky, it seemed to contain a mocking expression to it, as if it were laughing at something.